The year is 1879, but the history is not our own. Presenting Deadlands Reloaded. The guns of the Civil War are silent thanks to a ceasefire between North and South. There was the Great Quake of 68. A superfuel called Ghost Rock is discovered. The United States is divided into six nations. But one thing remains the same. You live by the gun, you die by the gun. We need to truck that. Uh, so to we got those legendary bennies. Just to recap, we've chosen our bennies. <coughs> you guys are ready to board the train with Elijah Bailey. Yep. You've been hired out at his body's arms at the rate of forty dollars a day. Um, You're welcome, by the way. What's up? Arizona's hands are still very numb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. For the record, um, Adam, who plays Robert, has earned his first legendary chip for his tale telling. And Jack, who plays Trey, managed to pull the other legendary Benny out of the bag. So what Bennies do people have right now, just real quick? One white, red, and blue. Joel's got the USA. Oh, it's a P. Ditto. Oh, red, white, and blue. Wow, <laughs> that's a pain. I have three whites and one blue. I have now chosen to reward Bob for doing the write-ups and rereading all my crap <laughs> and doing the videos in the next Benny session. If anybody would like to take the write-ups on as a challenge... I would be happy or to. Or chore. Sure. You can have a Benny from me on that every week. I would give you a Benny. <laughs> uh, well, shouldn't Joel have the right Benny for bringing down? I'll forego all three of my Bennies if you guys keep doing the right up. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Joel's extra Benny for, 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 for bringing dinner? We're still doing that. Adam, what do you have? Uh, I have the American flag plus my legendary. Nice. And that stays over. Like, if you don't yeah, use it tonight. My legendary stays according to. Uh, I, have, I have two whites in the legendary. Very nice. Like we've got a lot of blues and legendary. All right, per, <laughs> per a uh, house rule we've, we've implemented, the legendary is not tradable for one XP, okay. but it is. It will roll from session to session. So Jeff will have this until he uses it. And so, what's the final ruling uh, on what a okay. legendary chip does again? Uh, legendary chip out so of the box to will <laughs> uh, can be used as a blue fate chip with a plus two to the final roll. Mm. So you're really, you know, if you're rolling a D six, you're really rolling. Three to eight. Six plus two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or, what is this, 1975? They can be used three roll, any roll, a damage roll, a roll on a table, a malfunction check, and so on. Oh, so it doesn't have to be their roll. It can be an enemy's roll. It can oh. be an ally's roll. It can be anything. Oh, yes. this is crazy. Chris, your girlfriend, the cat is back. She was desperate without you last night. You should session. never use those Didn't unless you? somebody's about to die so and they need to re roll. And you guys, we astounded to know that after just one posting, we had 200 views on the thread as of this morning for. Session one. That's not bad. Although I have to wonder, sessions. I was thinking about this. How many uh, like yeah. web crawlers and spiders yeah, but like? if you look at some of the other ones, they don't have that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you're not famous. Uh, and I, I know Bob was a little nervous. Was there was there any uh, negative comments on uh, from our from our uh, Asian population? Yeah. No. Okay. I, I will say there was a lot of holy crap! You killed somebody in the first session. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, thanks. I'd almost forgotten about that. And somebody said something like, your fellow players are really callous. Like, some, like I don't know who it was, but on the boards they said, uh, like, 
yeah, you know, mom and dad are going to be really sad, but I was the favorite one anyways. <laughs> and, and the person writing said, man, that's cold. That's just cold. I, I thought that was the best line of the night. <laughs> actually, actually, one guy said, I don't know, I don't know about uh, your players, my players would have burned the town to the ground or yeah. died trying. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the point was you guys didn't know each other. That was the whole Yeah. Shebang. If it was different, we might have. And apparently Dwight's a little, uh, it likes Dwight, right? Dawson. 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 Dawson is a little more uh, level-headed than that. Or he just wants the whole, he wants the whole inheritance. No. <laughs> well, and, Dawson, and Dawson actually is the favorite, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, Dwight would have disagreed if he could. All right, so we are recording. The uh, You guys may make it to the train station the next day. We'll recap a little bit more. It's, 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 a, it's a mob scene. Do we get prepaid? Uh, no. I, did we negotiate? Do you get paid by the day? We get paid by the, the day. The rate is by the day. I don't know about the actual terms of payment of salary. If we get it all at the end, I would assume that was never day, discussed. In case he's that was killed. not discussed. Uh -huh. Well, if he's killed, we failed. <laughs> yeah. Who would hire a bodyguard and not pay the bodyguard before you? That's a good work? point. You know, <laughs> that's crazy. You probably make sure it's like, it's like when you have furniture delivery guys. You tip them before they bring yeah. stuff in the house. Lots of <laughs> lots of motivation to keep them alive. You know that's really funny because when I hire uh, furniture delivery guys, I also hire them, them the same people as bodyguards. It's like a two in one. You know, it's funny when I don't hire delivery guys. I just call my brother. <laughs> <laughs> same when I don't need the deck card shuffle when I'm busy. I just call my brother. Use your shuffle. So Trey, uh, maybe you can speak to your uh, inventor friend, talk to him about terms of payment, and also. Uh, can you ask him what the hell we did with the train and when the hell my hands are going to come back? <laughs> I expect them to come back any time now. Yeah, you know. They're right there. Can't you tell? I'll stop doing that, Robert. That's not funny. <laughs> it, it was, I just want to say it was a very lonely night last night. <laughs> so, for the record, the train consists of one locomotive and tender, two passenger cars, a dining car, a lounge car, two sleeper cars, Two locked freight cars, which is obviously your stuff is in one, and the caboose <coughs> in that order. So how many total oh cars? Uh, do you want to include the locomotive and tender? Yeah, yeah. Locomotive, tender, two passengers, dining, lounge, two sleepers, two freights, and the caboose. Right so like 10. 11. Okay. 10 11, including the caboose. Got it. That's, right. that's a good amount of cars to run along the top of. Well, my quick question. If the two locked cars... Are at, at the end of the cabooses. How do you get from them to the caboose and from the caboose back? Apparently, you have to have a key to get to the caboose. Mm. Okay, so somebody has a key in other words. The, con the conductor and engineer have keys. Okay. Do we know if anybody else has keys? You do not know. Uh, to the best of your knowledge, nobody else has a key. For what purpose? All right. You know, the other thing that bothers me is that uh, we saw those. Uh, Three men in pajamas last night at the train house as well. At the train yard, they were in the in the shadows. I think those people were under the employ of Sir Clayton, the man with the mustache, if I'm not mistaken. I was thinking if we wanted to drum up a little bit of extra revenue, we could go to Mr. Clayton and tell him that we saw his men doing what he instructed them to do. You know, play it all ambiguous like, and then for a small fee, we would keep our mouths shut. I don't think blackmail's going to slow him down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now that's a harsh term. What are you talking, blackmail? That's what he's going to see that. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe we can get some information. I mean, he's a competitor for for your friend. I've, dealt with, him. I've dealt with him before. Oh, what do you know about Mr. Yeah. Clyde? He's ruthless. Oh. He's a proper Englishman. He's relatively new to the area. So, but his... Reputation obviously precedes him as far as Trey is concerned. Well, I'm just thinking we could use that as a way to collect information about what the hell those three were doing last night. I think we know what they were trying to do, get in and see the other people, maybe sabotage. Yeah, did they sabotage our employers? Because uh, I'm not getting paid if he screwed up our time. But I don't think they got inside. If they were really good, that's exactly what you would think. I'm just throwing it out there. <clears throat> All right, so the um, train platform, like I said, is a, is a, is a border on a riot. And vendors are trying to get on the train. They have bodyguards pushing people out of the way. There's reporters. There's a few regular passengers. Um, it's, just a, it's a crazy event. You, uh, Elijah, you guys are kind of pushing away for Elijah to get through. Even Trey is getting attacked by reporters because he has this, he's, he's pissed the mold. 
Are they recognizing him as a robot? No. Okay. Better not be. So, uh, everybody, give me a. Does anybody a spirit know? check? Does anybody notice I'm of different descent? Yeah. It's it's jam packed and busy. Yeah. It's More so accepted crazy. nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. What am I looking for? Spirit, spirit check. Oh. Hey, Wei Fong, what's your spirit? Cinco. D6. Oh, D6. Oh. Two D6. Oh, I Don't do. forget your wild eye. Nine. Sixteen. Shut up. Five exploded. Just Thirteen. Yeah, five. Thirteen. All right. So you all managed to stick together. You, you, you push the crowd apart. Uh, Bailey makes it to the train. You uh, see him to the lounge car, which wait, I'll show it to you. Gambling car. I like that idea. I didn't hear a list of casino cars. There would be the lounge car. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that Sheet. Can't help you with that. Uh, so you might have to zoom in around to see it at all, but that is a lounge car. Pretty fancy. He says, uh, thank you, guys. I suppose you might have a few more questions. I have a, finally got a chance to talk. Were you, were you able to complete uh, what we talked about last night? Arizona looks to Trey. <laughs> Trey is shoveling snacks. Taking in. advantage of the free food on the dining car, I see mm -hmm. I want to roll a couple notes. So I hear your wife is having an affair, Trey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 to that. <laughs> <laughs> you doing showing gum over there? <laughs> you know, while, while he looks hey, around, he, this food out at home. He, uh, he doesn't see anything. He hears some activity on the roof. You know that typically the brakeman works on the roof of the, of the, uh, of the train. We had an interesting night last night. Oh, really? I think this would be why. You wanna, did you, we did weren't you, the only people uh, at the train yard. No, I am not surprised. Do you know if any... Uh, we saw some guys in pajamas running around. Really? Oh, before, kind of like his sort. Before I forget, your guns were returned to you when you boarded the train. I had no guns. Yeah, we assumed. We <laughs> said put it, in, put it out there for the... Like Thank you. Do you know if anybody has... I, I believe Sir Clyden has hired them, but I have, I have no bone to pick with him, so... I'm not really concerned. Do you have any idea what his invention is? No. No. I should phone. Can you tell us why we had to grease the wheels? I would have expected you to at least understand. This is the third annual symposium, scientific symposium. The first year, of course, several members improved the train en route to provide a faster and more comfortable journey. That uh, was subsequently outlawed, but it continues to be a time-honored practice. So the uh, the train people don't like it. They have explicit orders not to allow it. But all the inventors who are interested try to improve it. You'll 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 notice it'll happen later on. I'll make the announcement, and uh, with any luck, the representative from Hellstrom will make a nice record in his book. He's that gentleman who doesn't talk to anybody. Oh, we met him. No, you know, you looked at him. <laughs> Somebody talked to him. <laughs> we're, we're like this right now. Arizona's looking increasingly distraught. He looks to, to Trey and then sort of glares at Elijah and looks back to Trey. And looks Trey at his is, there, is there something wrong? Elijah, we may need a little help. What's that? Little help. <laughs> My good friend here. Applied the grease with his bare hands. And now I can't feel my damn hands. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Why don't you give us any information? Why? I didn't have time to spill everything out. I would have thought you, Trey, Look, would have understood the implications. I told him to wear gloves. It was a heat of the moment thing. We were getting pursued by the... Uh, I, I am so sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. I can't use my damn hands. Oh, but remember, man with hand in pocket feel cocky all day. China man, that does not help me right now. Oh, yeah, yes, it does not. I would slap you, but I can't slap you because I can't use my damn hands. Can you do something? Actually, actually, if you slap me, it would, it would not hurt you at all. It would just hurt me. 
But anyway, they usually, try it. <laughs> that usually wears off within about 24 hours. It's, it's been 12 hours. So that was, you mean you're about halfway there. You're like fancy, right? You got tonics and stuff. You got a tonic for me to fix my damn hands? Not worse than that, though. <laughs> it's going to hurt you more than just waiting it out. Yeah, you, you really don't want to try to go the other route. <laughs> <laughs> I got 12 hours, then. Is that what you're saying? Yes, you'll have to rely on your vision as well as your dexterity. I'm marking the time right now. Well, I said about... It's 1 o'clock. <laughs> I think that I'm going to need a, an 25. increase in... So you're telling... Wait, you're telling us, then, that what you asked us to do is illegal. It's forbidden by the owners of the train. And, uh, yeah, there's a time honor tradition with regards to the Kansas Science Symposium. And I've, I've suffered suffered a, the train yard at night. What did you think was happening? I've suffered an injury. I feel like I should be compensated for the injury. You are being well compensated for this. $40 a day is more than your Chinese friends are making. I wonder how much it would cost to you if everyone knew that we completed such a time honored tradition. I'm sure they wouldn't mind, but for $20, maybe, maybe we'd keep it quieter. You realize the only reason we're getting forty dollars a day is because we agreed to do that. It was supposed to be thirty or thirty-five. My answer to you is, I can't feel my damn hands. You understand? A man should be compensated. So, so let me get this straight. A stranger gives you a vial of goo, asks you to apply it in the dead of night. Certainly, a man of your distinguishment understands that that is a Questionably legal in, in event anyway. That's right, right. and we so, were paid forty dollars. So, 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 and I believe you are obviously with, with my proof. The gentleman who applied such lube <laughs> actually breaking the law more so than myself. So we would assume to be sitting in the same pair of seats now. Except there's one. Except different. you're getting forty dollars a day, and your hands will be fine at the end of the day. Except I can't feel my damn hands right now. <laughs> See, I, I, I've got nothing to lose because I've already lost my damn hands. Are you understanding me? Put them in your pocket. Keep them warm. Twelve hours, sir. Twelve hours. Well, I don't condone such person. All right, man. Yep. Arizona. <laughs> High five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I love this. You're funny, China man. Oh. All right, so the freight car that's remained locked. There is a small group working here. There is the uh, conductor and engineer who I believe you met yesterday while loading. There's Chet Ferris, the boilerman. Tong Lee, the brake man, who you hear running, scurrying about up there. No relation. And there are three other union re uh, blue, union blue repairmen. Oh, three union one. Union union blue is a, the train uh, repairman. Mm -hmm. So they'll be around keeping an eye on things. The freight cars are locked. Hopefully that will be adequate. But we're here to make sure that my things are kept safe. Well, for a little extra, we could see how good those locks are. We need to protect him. You know what I mean. Well, sure, Arizona would have no problem with that. I guess I could, but I can't use my damn hands. You understand? <laughs> I can't do nothing. I just wanted to hear you say that. Thank you. Thank you very much, Robert Ferris, <laughs> New York. Is this anything like a jellyfish thing? Because I've got a really good remedy fix for that. Do tell, China. You're, you're saying when you get stung by a jellyfish, yes. you got a cure for that. I do. I do not want your... I don't even want to hear that. Do you even know what a jellyfish is? Oh, I do. I eat them. Very good. <laughs> you said some time down south by the shore. Sushi. You understand. <laughs> you guys have any more questions? Uh, yeah, I got a question. If you're asking pay? for more money, there's the door. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm interested in or making sure I get the money quick. that we've agreed to. You got a number of inventors out here, all of whom are interested in protecting their items. So haven't you considered the possibility of teaming up? Maybe you talk to Sir Clyden and say, listen, why don't we join forces, jointly protect our items from other people, and you have a wider umbrella of protection? Except for the fact that I don't know Sir Clyde, so I don't know that I can trust him. That's the reason the six of you are here. So you... you are the, I have hired the biggest entourage out of any of them. Don't give, don't give away our work there. Right. Awesome. It's awfully cocky. It seems kind so of... What did you build last year? Oh, five gunslingers. This has been my first time there. Good answer. Good answer. I have no gun. So you're saying you'd prefer to trust six strangers who you hired off the street versus a lion with one of these other inventors working together? You got a marshal. I trust the marshal. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. He's a very trusted. I would expect he would choose the companions. I know. 
Well, yeah, Marshall. he does. He did teach Ulysses S. Grant everything he knows about you horses. Back, I thought he'd you mess with me. You mess with the whole U.S. government. Everything he knows about everything. I thought he taught uh, Ulysses S. Grant. Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's look at yourself. You have a marshal. You got a Chinaman. I'll bet you that guy's gonna break boards with his head by the end of the day. <laughs> we got you. I'll bet you're a slippery little devil. I can't use my damn hands. Did I need to remind you? Him? He's I'm the, he's the, the He's he's the he's the one who kind of keeps you online. <laughs> this guy, yeah, I like him. He's my guy. And the other Don't guy, you know him? Don't, don't I think about the engine guy. And he points at uh, Dawson. And him, he's the muscle. Well, that is true. He has already saved my life on one occasion. So I could chief Dawson. I picked you guys up for a reason. Mm. Mm. Well, do you have any recommendations on how to best protect your investment? Is your investment pr prone to any weaknesses that the other inventors could apply? Well, my, you know that I, I, my specialization is limits and tonics, yeah. which means that I have a great deal of glassware. So my, expectation, my, my plan is to both produce and distribute them at the symposium. So I have some stock and I have the ingredients and materials necessary to make more. Where is your formulas? In your head or in your cases? In my head. So you are valuable. So better make sure his head stays attached to the rest of them. Mm. How many days is the trip with your uh, added enhancement to the train? Higher hands. I, I don't really know because I suspect there will be some others. Things happen in the train and takes longer. Sometimes it goes faster. All right, but how many? How much money have you budgeted to pay for our expenses? How many days do you anticipate you will be paying us for our services? Sure. Well, I would expect your services to exist until the symposium is over. So it will be the train ride and our time in the city of Dodge. All right. And, and do you plan on paying us at the beginning of each day or at the end of each day? I like what you did there, New York. I will be paying you half of the wage at the end of each day. And the other half, when everything is said and done. 100, 150 miles a day. So you'll get 20 a day, and at the end you'll get double that. And if I should win and everything makes it there, I'm sure there'll be a little extra for you. Oh, so now it's in our best interest to make sure he wins. <laughs> <laughs> but how many days should the train, should the train ride last? Uh, five or six. Okay. Maybe seven. Right. It's kind of vague in here. No, no, I We're going one mile per hour? <laughs> just I'm sure we're that, going to a train, let's just train say there are probably go about 100 or 150 miles a day. And we're figuring it's about eight to nine hundred miles from Chicago to Dodge City. He already did this. Well, about right. Well done. He had it way before you. It was crazy. He's a man. Oh yeah. I'm you want to talk, President Mark? Okay. I'm sitting next. It's ripping off. <laughs> President some baseball. President. You guys have any more questions? President, any questions? Do you have any? Recommendations about how to best protect your items. Should we put two people at the front door of the freight car? Can that, you, if you, if you if you put people there, other people are going to get real nervous about it. My best suggestion is you just keep a tight eye on everybody and, every, and everything that's going on. The lounge is the last part before they go. On the rooftop. <laughs> the lounge, then two sleepers, then the freight. And it's two freights and then the caboose. Yes. Got it. I'm really happy I made a note of that. <laughs> I just want to say, as an aside, you did say that if he wins, there'd be some extra to spread around, right? He Maybe did. we should make sure that he wins. Catch my drift. Look at you, New York. That's I awesome. didn't know you had that. That's what so how many people all together on this train? Passengers. Uh, I'm going to say <laughs> somewhere in the 30 to 40 range. So I have a lot of these. You know, there's, there's, a group, there's several groups that are periphery, and then there's another. So we're going to recognize all the faces after a while. Mm. Presumably. It's Maybe we like split up, crowd. have three people stay in the, uh, that works the, the last sleeper car. Two sleeping, one on uh, watch. Watch so, that door so it's a little more subtle. And we could stay up all hours of the night and have a few eyes open. Well, the other three are eating and hanging out. Over there somewhere, please. I think that sounds like a good idea. Now, I'm happy to get to sleep first. <laughs> Maybe when I wake up, my hands will be better. Oh, you can't feel your hands right now? Can't feel my damn hands, Robert Harris, New York. What happens if your hand falls asleep while they're asleep? Do they wake up? 
Oh. China man, you are one weird man. Let me tell you, you are a weird little man. But he can feel his hands. But he can feel his damn hands. Oh, he is on that. <laughs> All right, so you guys are just kind of exploring the train a little bit at this point, making sure you know what's what. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get a lay of the land. Let's see who the personalities are and what the competition is. All right, so, um, since you want to see them all, there is the lounge car. Loungy. Oh, wait, one last question for Elijah. No. Do you have anything that might help us in our in our task? you got a tonic that you could give to us that might help us in a pinch? I have a small amount. That right now I, um, I I I can't afford to give. If something terrible happens to one of you, I will bring it out to help. All right. What, like a restorative tonic of some kind? Yes. Would you need I to go? I the time and the engine to get hurt. Right. Lobster. Lobster. All right. So here we have a passenger. Yeah, what would the passenger cars look like? Mm -hmm. Okay. No passengers. Nobody's really boarded yet. So it's pretty quiet on the trains. There's not right, a right in second, yeah. Is there is that a s storage space on the like the top of the the yes. train? Okay, got it. Uh, here we have the it could be Elijah's sleeping quarters. Ooh, Ooh that's it's like, nice. It's like a train to Hogwarts. So there is a so if I'm looking for like possible ways to get into is you can get in from the hallway, but you can also get in from the window. Is that correct? Yes. If, if that's like off. wood or something? Yes, yeah, wood. All right. Uh, you don't get such the nice accommodations. You get. Nobody uh, uh, make a page, a page of that one. I love the pictures. These are great. I did not make a page of yours. Sorry. Uh, and then the dining car. Oops, I no one looks like the Hogwarts train. Good job. <laughs> right. For the for the uh, dining car, you have to zoom out because the picture is absurdly large. Oh yeah, see what you mean. Oh, Maybe oh. you put it to fifty. Like 30. Oh, 30. Yeah, you're right. Ooh. Oh, that is wow. fancy. That's really nice. Hey, well, you take what you can get when you're searching Google. <laughs> 20 minutes before you guys arrive. <laughs> uh, if we look outside the window, uh, if we were forced to have to go outside of the train to crop on The window is sealed in. You would have to break the window to get out. None of the windows open on their own? They're all sealed? It depends on the car. Ah. Okay. So, what about the sleeping car that we saw for Elijah? Is that a sealed window or is that an openable window? It is. Uh, it had the slats in it. It okay. had the slats in it, so that's yeah. as open as it gets. All right. So, if anybody were to get out or in, they'd have to break down those wooden slats yes. plus the window to get out. Yes. They don't want anybody really hopping on the train for free. Or take the screws out. Or take out the screws. Yeah. Yeah. I think I might get sick at some point. <laughs> there it is. Are you serious, Dawson? I just I saw you. Have a, I may have a stomach for shooting people in the head and blowing their brains all over, but I ain't got a stomach for anything. I just saw you Five fight a pounds. demon tree, blow a hole in it, and you can't, like, stomach a train? It's all that rock in the ocean moving around. All right. I'm going to be camera rock. All right. Well, be careful. You might want to carry around another handkerchief with you then. How do you ride those war horses that you and your people <laughs> travel across the country? You ride them buffalo. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the inventors start. Uh, Go ahead, Mike. Out there, well, man, they're called bison. <laughs> buffalo aren't in this country, you jackass. <laughs> so I'm actually going to scooch it over here. Uh, so some of the. Train riders are boarding now. You know, I taught Buffalo Bill everything he knows about shooting. <laughs> you have, you have <laughs> Bison Bill. I'll tell you, Marshall, you sure taught a lot of people a lot of stuff. What do you see what I teach you guys? Yeah, you're already no. teaching me some I stuff. I like see that pistol you're in there, Marshall. I bet that thing's got rust on it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he's taught me everything I need to know about said. bullshit. <laughs> All right, so obviously you remember Elijah. He's the black man on the right. Yep. With the miles and such in front of him. To the left is uh, Lottie Galloway, who you briefly met. She does not appear to have any guards with her. Mm. Although she's scurrying about, checking every kind of, just looking all over the train. Uh, like, are the windows open or closable? Is there any kind of ventilation? Uh, she looks to be a little germaphobic. Uh. How are you doing? <laughs> if you scroll, yeah. If you scroll down, you'll 
can see the cloud with the mustache. He's a uh, the bowler hat. Yes, he's relatively calm, cool. He's got his uh, two of his three Chinamen with him. You don't know what the third one is. Two, two, three. Uh, next up would be the Hellstrom. Like on the bottom of the train or something. <laughs> <laughs> next up would be the Hellstrom rep. That's my man. Who says absolutely nothing to anybody? Did we get a name on him? Hellstrom rep. So that's it. <laughs> 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 That's all we ever need to know. That's all you ever need to know. And, you know, Sir Clyde's mustache yeah. is so nice. I feel like we should give that its own name as well. It's, uh, it's awfully big enough. Uh, next up Walter. is... Walter, it is. Patton Riddle. P-A-T-T-O-N Riddle. Is it a combination of Tom Riddle and Patton Oswalt? <laughs> no, because it's already out here. What's in the module? Yeah. Is there no picture? picture? No picture yet. I didn't get a chance. I forgot oh, to make a picture, picture of him. What was his name? Oh, that's so religious. Um, I'm imagining Patton, Patton Oswalt. Oswald. That's, that's he, what he, I'm going to have to. He's actually fairly charming. Ooh. He's not as so strange as some, of the, as some of the other ones. <laughs> Patton Oswalt meets the inventor from so Alias. Right that's what I'm picturing. I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, so Elijah's kind of pointed them out to you as, as they get on. People refer to him as the Great White Hunter. Because uh, he picked up a habit of wearing a pith helmet on Safari in Africa, and he wears that helmet all the time now. Mm. He's got a mechanical kind of manservant or something. Is that right? No, that would be uh, the last guy on the train, uh, Harold K. Carl Dial, H.K. Dial for short. And uh, he has a mechanical automaton that follows him around. He's a pretty quiet guy. He doesn't really do much. Uh, everybody give me a quick notice check. Oh, Joe. Let's see. Three. Wow. Five. Two. Sixteen. Well, you have to shake the die. You can't just keep putting the rope up. Twenty. <laughs> oh, sorry, twenty because I'm untrained. That's astonishing. Three. Everybody who uh, made it with a raise makes note that every time Dial looks at Riddle, Every time, it's like bitter anger, hatred. Mm. Push him over, Niagara Falls, a lot of barrel kind of stuff. So. Hey, Trey, you know anything about... What was that, Mikey? Oh, I do, but I will... Oh, no, man, man who puts head on railroad track going to get splitting headache. <laughs> Not, nothing about Niagara Falls, no. <laughs> I'm going to see if I recognize Riddle and the other guys, inventors. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Riddle, Riddle uh, uh, Dial has the, the mechanical automaton traipsing around behind him. Junk, junk, junk. And Pat and Riddle, you've actually heard of. Do I know? I want to know if I know more than... Lord Voldemort? You've heard of him. Like uh, what, what they're known for in history. Seven. So, so, so Riddle is like the, uh, uh, he's like the tomboy, he's like the playboy of, of, of weird science. It just naturally comes to him. Val Kilmer? Tony Stark. Tony Stark. Tony Stark. He just gets it. He doesn't even put that much effort into it. He's the one with the automaton? No, he's the one without the automaton. He's oh, the okay. pith helmet guy. Yes. The big game hunter. So, but he only... Jesus Christ. He's very focused. Yes. Do give me more of those berries. There's another bag. There's another bag. Yeah. We're going to give you some of Jeffy's, Jeffy's men. So, um, so Riddle is relatively famous as far as weird science goes. Yes. That I know. You mean like Hello Rock? Weird science country? <laughs> There was a picture on the internet of uh, LeBron James's feet at a beach, and from years of wearing basketball shoes, his pinky has migrated over to like the center of his foot, and it's really disturbing. It's an awesome picture. Definitely recommend you check it out someday. All right, so, so back to the game. Sorry. <laughs> oh, hold back, thanks. <laughs> Um, I'd like to know, also, uh, we see that there are two of the um, sort of ninja that are, have joined Sir Clyden, but do we see any of the bodyguards surrounding any of the other ninjas? Uh, you don't see 
uh, it's there's other people on the train, so you don't know if they're bodyguards or just other people. Yeah. Okay. They may be a little less conspicuous to the end. How many people on the train are uh, are in this room are like wielding weapons? Is everybody wearing a piece? That's it. You uh, it doesn't. Have you seen the movie The Mummy where Brendan Fraser gets on the boat and drops <laughs> open that bag? <laughs> Knee up on the matrix. Yeah, exactly. That's great. Hey, Benny, just sell it alongside the river. I just realized I can show Mike the uh, picture. So the uh, at exactly noon, the conductor cries, "All aboard!" And the engineer gives a long blast of the whistle. Let me play my YouTube video again. You got that? There you go. <laughs> you guys are great egg toss people. I guarantee it. Yeah, I you think. Had, like, you had like actual smoke coming out of the computer, Josh. That would have been really impressive. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Moments later, the locomotive begins to chug and the train lurches forward, slowly at first, but steadily gaining speed. Inside an hour, the express speeds along the flat landscape of wheat, corn, wheat, and more wheat. Wheat. Mm. Talking off at 12 miles an hour. So much in Kansas. Once it's uh, underway, the conductor, Aristotle, Lewis comes back. He uh, announces who he is, in case people didn't know. Lays down the ground rules, no shooting, don't even go near the freight cars, kind of stuff. He expects peace and quiet on the train. No inventions blowing stuff up. So on and so forth. No dynamite. No ghost rock blowing stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the train is speeding along. Zona, hmm? how's your hand, hands feeling there? Any better? How are his Arizona it's, uh, hands? It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon now. The train's been moving along for a couple hours. They might start to be feeling a little tingly. Hey. Uh, I can't feel my damn hands. I still can't. There, there might be a little, yeah. it might be better, but it just might be I'm getting used to it at this point. The Dawson's going to shoot that guy in the head okay. if you don't get your feeling back. I we'll, think we'll get we'll get even with you. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you very much. Right, Dawson. All right, so you've been sitting along for a couple hours. Well, what's our game plan? Playing into a comfortable position. I'm trying to get get around, get to know some people. I go over and talk to the uh, German Ford lady, Lottie. Lottie. The story of that one. She, she's big her ventilation in there and and mold and spores and all kinds of stuff. I tried the uh, spores mold to puddles. Yes. And she, um, she's pretty convinced that there's a rock following the train that's going to get you guys. A rock? Yeah, she's got a little paranoia oh, for inanimate um, objects. More than a week so. Fantastic. She probably yeah. would have been working with people's well. Mm. Well, that's probably. Say, so we, we did have a tree come trying to kill us, so why not a rock? I hate to say it, but Dawson has a rock. Okay, why do you say you think she's working with a rock? On whatever paper. So I've known a lot of people who work with ghost rock. They don't become normal after a while. Really? Or do they like got all sort of issues? They wow. They're kind of small and stuff, and they got stars on their arm. <laughs> Trey, Trey, I got a question for you. Were they yeah. one of those thought ways, or was it just a hand that they played with the ghost rock? It seems like a little bit of a ghost rock. Oh, stuff they are. They never answered the gentleman. Ha! You play with a ghost rock. He who sniffs cold drowns. The say what now? Talking about the opium dens you guys had? Oh, that didn't make much sense. Maybe I should bring the water with Wait a minute, I was just with ghost rock all night last night. I got it all over my hands. Oh hell. You've been playing with Ghost Rock for a while now, haven't you? Oh, did you even start, New York? I was, I was thinking you were a little crazy this morning. Oh, hell. <laughs> Great. Hey, Arizona, how are you? Let's...
Like, I'm thinking you're thinking of two dollars. Two. Amazing. Absolutely. You know what? Hang on to your money. That was difficult, but uh, we can work about it later. That's wow. That's impressive, Dawson. <laughs> so uh, I guess. I think I'm just gonna sit here and watch. I ain't doing no gambling no more. I can't gamble, but I, I'm, <laughs> if you, if a couple of you want to join me, we can go up and down all the cars and see just what sort of space we're looking at. Uh, Why don't you roll? Yeah, that's what she had done this I don't know. As uh, you guys are discussing your options, <laughs> uh, Elijah stands up and he says, "This train seems to be lacking in velocity. Perhaps it could use some axle grease." We can always make a few seconds pass. Some travelers look about in confusion. Other scientists in the car seem interested, but the strain, but they strain to appear loose. Suddenly, there's a surge of speed that momentarily presses everyone back into their seats. Whoa! Everybody, give me an agility check, please. Oh hell! Oh, great. <laughs> you know your friend's got a flair for the dramatic. Blair, I'm glad you don't have that. <laughs> Arizona got a seven. Five. Six. I got a five. Two one. Right, and that's what I said to him. Two one. On the I got a four. So I'm going to use a Betty. Why don't you use that silver one? I'm going to use a Betty. Oh, you wait, no. Yeah. Really? So I don't want to damage my. Uh, oh, you're. Okay. It's a critical like, failure, I guess. Three. 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 I've never been so happy to. Can I have your buddy have your ship, please? <laughs> so, and yes, you would have broke something like your arm. <laughs> Good call. Good call. So, uh, we'll land in the middle of the way. All right, so the... So, by the way, I just want to point out that assuming that most people in the train are uh, just have an agility of D4, you know, then that means that 25% of the people in the entire train have now have broken arms. I just want to point out that weird mechanic. <laughs> I'm going to take, well, no, take the opportunity to, uh, to get up and drunk and stumble one on into uh, oh, the gentleman yeah. who's yes. uh, it's got the Chinese... People Sir Clyden with a mustache. Correct. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drunkenly stumble into him and bump him. Okay. Excuse me, sir! Oh, I have, excuse me. Oh, are you from around here? Sir, have you been drinking? I have not been drinking a little. I have, <laughs> I've been drinking a lot. Sir, I don't have time to deal with the drunk right now. However, later on, we'll be having this extra special drink. Oh, cannot wait. And I invite you to join us for that. I will be humbled and honored. More humbled and humbled. Mm. Humbled and honored. Oh, well, Donald Duck. <laughs> so, you know, though, now that this train is going so fast, I'm amazed yeah. that it's not racking all over. I was um, wondering. Maybe about it's because of the magnetic coil that I added to it that will uh, increase the stability of the train while at a higher rate. Indubitably. <laughs> For a smoother yeah, ride. A friend of theirs. <laughs> Our engine thanks you. So... Our guy said that. I have no idea what that man just said. Trey, maybe you can translate. <laughs> um, no, Trey's busy playing Candy Crush. That's a good point. Well, no. Yeah. I had no idea what that man just said. You can translate. Well, he's, in, he's increased the yeah, magnetic force pulling down the train um, into the tracks. It's funny because, like, he so yeah, we go around corners, we naturally have that a bit, was, that you know, tendency to, to turn. I will follow that force pulling down keeps us on the uh, tracks. All right. Pull so us down. I just have one question. What does magnetic mean? <laughs> and, uh, you know, like a compass. Like a compass. Oh, you say so. It's like a compass. Like, you know, like the head of a big company is a magnet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rockefeller oil magnet. Right, um, magnet. Gotcha. I think that combined with our guy's increasing speed and axle grease can make us go a heck of a lot faster. How many days do you think it's going to take for us to get there now? We'll see how fast our, our uh, train keeps accelerating to. 
So velocity times magnetic force pulled by the Earth's atmosphere times two will equal the centrifugal force going five miles an hour. So we will shall be there in five days. What? Only has to do with the centrifugal force at all. <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. Please keep it stepping. I'm adding a new picture. <laughs> Well, I don't know about you, but I didn't quite get a good lunch since I can't use my hands. So maybe I'm going to head to the dining car and get myself, get myself something to eat. Oh, do you know how yeah. to make an egg roll? Oh, no. Push it. That's the kind of man. You're very welcome. Oh. Do you want somebody to go help you in case you have trouble feeding yourself? Or no. no. I got this. Uh, uh, Gordon over there asked if you needed any help going to the bathroom. No, I got this. Uh, but another, Dawson, I could use a company. Another uh, before, before you before before you guys leave the uh, um, car. Uh, another another quiet inventor, uh, Sylvester Tate. Commented he had a, a cyclonic projector to the steam tank, which increases usable steam. A colonic projector? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Cyclonic. My oh, bad. Okay, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> a shitty way to get it to go faster. <laughs> what was it, Chris? What a shitty way to make it go faster. It's okay. Uh, I know. Uh, You'll just stand there on screen. That's funny. Look. Ha ha. Ha ha. And uh, Lester Tate, who we never mentioned again, out of the cyclonic projector. Do you know what this tells me? That the guards on this train suck are terrible. That's exactly right. They, they guard the freight car. They are terrible guards. They are guarding the garden next to the uh, train. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do not much. So, oh, I can have a little roll. Hey. If they get the fastest train to the uh, symposium, that was the... Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll note that the um, health trap is scribbling furiously in his book, mm. making notes of what people are saying, what's happened. Arizona will uh, stealthily try to maneuver his way sort of in the proximity so that he can get a look at some of the notes that are being written down in that notebook. Give me stealth. I get a better way. I'm gonna jump and stumble into him. Stealth is nine. Nine? Well, yeah, so they jump and get a cause of distraction in front of him so Arizona can get behind him and read it. <laughs> That's great. Uh, you get behind him and his uh, penmanship is <gasps> spectacular. Oh! Spectacular. It's like type written. It's like printing press perfect. <laughs> you, you can read, can't you? But <laughs> but it's in Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was, I thought you were going to go it, with bad him and shit. Yeah, like mm -hmm. it, 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 he's really just adding, you know, so and so did this, so and so did that. Is yeah. it sort of like a court transcript of uh, of written? It, it's it's just a bunch notes. Of, of notes. So you know, Elijah Wood, Elijah Bailey added axle grease train increase, you know, roughly fifteen percent speed. All right. Try not to laugh too hard. Uh oh, there's an accent coming on here. No, no, no. I'm going to read this first line. And there's going to be... Marky Makuchi. By the time the scientists' various modifications are kicked in, the Hellstrom Express is hurling across the Great Lakes region at ludicrous speed. <laughs> what am I, surrounded? Inconceivable. Inconceivable. So, wait a minute. Does that mean our train is going to plaid? Yes. <laughs> it's actually a little bit invigorating for those accustomed to traveling in a stop. Suddenly a shudder goes through the entire train, followed by the distinctive groan of metal under stress. Mm, shudder from a shake. house? The vibration swells Stay underfoot the and then rises into seat bottoms and armrests. The adventurers appear stricken with terror. No one makes a move. So the What's coming up from the... No, it's just the, the whole, whole thing is just starting to shake. What's Elijah look like? He throws up on whoever's close Black. Awesome. Roll a D5. Roll a D6. What did he say? He throws up on his closest to him. Oh. <laughs> Go for the guy with no hands. I'm hoping it's Black. 
Five. Oh, you threw up on Warren. Perfect. You're at your you're arch nemesis. Wow. <laughs> and start no, running no, towards happy. the engineer, towards the uh, train. Okay. Arizona moves towards Elijah, trying to help him uh, not fall and break an arm or break his head. All right. Um, Trey, as you get to the door, you bump into um, one of the union repair people. And um, actually, you bump into her as you get through the her? door. Kind of. roll, roll. I, I blew it there. Uh, you, bu you bump into her just as you get to the engine area. Okay. And... She immediately strips off a piece of equipment. Whoa! I hope it's her Whoa. outfit. Oh, strips off what? For sure. Some a piece, a piece of equipment that is attached to the locomotive. Oh. Is it your job? Uh, for the record, so here's um. Scroll, up, please. Yeah. Here's what you find when you get to the locomotive. Ooh, right. <laughs> Turn the red wire. Turn the red valve. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, that's cool. Uh, there's Steve. Uh, as you bump into her, her her cap falls off, letting her hair down. You're okay, this woman. Do I recognize her? No. Uh, closer inspection. Yeah. What do we do? We gotta slow this down, or else we're all in trouble. We gotta get. No one's gonna make it. We have to remove the, the inventor's contraption. That'll slow us down. What would James want? I don't think we'll be able to just break. Depends. We need to leave the magnetic coil on that I heard. Because that's steam engine. holding us to the tracks. Never mind. Alright, we'll make a repair roll. Grease on the make a repair roll minus two. We really need to choke a water berry. Good luck. If you bend that's the water berry, I have a D8 plus two. Oh, oh, no. oh I'm not going to bother then. I have a, I have a D4 repair. I guess two. Two. You want to you bail? <laughs> hey, are you getting assistance from uh, from, from Robert her? Harris or from her? No, she's trying to re re remove one on her own. All right, as you uh, do that, okay. Uh, as as you try to do something, you're not you're not entirely sure how the whole thing works. Uh, a sickening rumble, a sickening jolt goes through everything. How sickening? No, I mean like does it make grinding, grinding. Sick again? <laughs> or does it sick again? <laughs> I don't. We need to slow this down. Is anybody? Maybe the cyclone inside of the uh, device, inside of the engine. Try. I'm gonna try to disrepair the cyclone. What about the people who put it in? Disengage. Four. With the minus two? Yeah. All right, so you may have to... Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I know this. I know this. We've got to slow down first. We can't just stop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! No, Dawson, I think we got to keep this train going at 55 miles per hour or the bomb is going to explode. <laughs> Whatever we uh, do, help do not explode 88 miles per hour. Damn it! That was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I just watched the end of that yesterday with uh, Elizabeth. She loved it. Number three? Oh, no, it's first one. Oh, nice. So, all right, so um, Trey strips off a piece of equipment. The first piece the girl removed, you notice she took off, like, like she knew what she was doing. She's mm. good. It was her piece. Oh, lucky. Um, I'm talking about her piece. <laughs> my kind of conductor. Suddenly a valve blows, filling the room with the, uh, the, the uh, conductor area with steam. I open up a window as fast as I can. It's, it's just pouring out of there. It's, 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 you have to get out of there. So the, the, the two of you back off, and uh, steam burns are the worst. Uh, sorry, I had a brain fart for a second. All right, so Dial, I've been sitting in the corner of the train very quietly now for a while, stands up and says, "Looks like repairs are necessary post haste." Says a quiet voice. The nervous wan figure with a clockwork automaton appears, lugging a large case. I have just the thing right here. He lays down the case and opens it. Six inch long steel ants swarm from under the lid, their alert antenna bending toward the locomotive's machinery. Did you say steel ants? Yes, I did. And I have a Wait, picture. Did, did we encounter these in our sci fi campaign? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Recycled pictures change. God, I love it. Do they look like replicators once again? <laughs> no. 
Nice. So I'm going to have a great big steel shoot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you might have to zoom in on him a little bit there. How about a great big steel anteater? Mike, you might have to zoom in on him a little bit. Hi. Lord Bark. I think mm. I went to like 140. Okay. You see his little mechanical ants? Okay, yeah. 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 And the ants just skitter off into the machinery. And, and within minutes, the train is running smoother again, and smoother than it was. It you don't think it's going to explode and so these like break down? Macro knights, because yeah, they're knights, they're macro, bigger. <laughs> macro knights. Let's call um, them exocomps. There you go. Yeah, that question. So within the, within the hour, the uh, train is running smooth again. It looks like the the pieces you didn't strip off um, are working in concert now. Mm. And the Hellstrom rep is writing furiously in his book. Arizona will walk near the Hellstrom rep and then direct a question to Dre saying, Hey, do you think that Mr. HK Dial could have uh, had somebody come in and break the train so he could fix it later today? Make him look like a hero then, huh? It would have, wouldn't it? Hmm. Robert Weinstein. He, he looks at you out of the corner of his eye, raises his eyebrow. He's going to say the story. He grins. I look for the girl. I told one story. She, she's not in the cabin, but there's always so many places to go on train. <laughs> I go to her up. Are you in the bathroom? <laughs> this is a bad time. Did I show you your guys' accommodations? Uh -huh. Well, no, you didn't. All right, give me 30 seconds. I'll show you your accommodations. Okay. Yeah. Add a picture. She can't get all the way over here. Are trying to be mean to my cat? That engineer were key. You should get her name. You're more than that. I think she <laughs> likes you. Oh, she went to grab for your tool. But it came up empty handed. That's how much I'm nuts. <laughs> she's she's nuts. nuts. She thinks you're nuts. No, but thank you. Okay. Don't worry. I know you're occupied, but if you're interested. Oh, no, I'm just trying to stay away from that for weeks. Okay. <laughs> I'll just put it right here. Yeah. <laughs> just tempt you, right here. Uh, at least not easily within my reach. I'll eat something around. Thankfully, the porch is not strong with me. <laughs> All right, so. Here is what you guys get to sleep for your sleeping accommodations. You might have to zoom out a little to see. <laughs> <laughs> is this a picture from a submarine? Prison. No, it's a train. Wow, look it's at that. It's a train. Is it in India? Well, like from my search, I thought it was a train. That looks really comfortable. Whew. Uh, I've got top bunk. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? You, you, want, you got the guy who's been drinking all day at the top bunk. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Dawson, how are you feeling? Any better? Well, I, I, I think I'm feeling better, but I don't know if I should use anything else after that. You better, you better give me a uh, uh, bigger, bigger roll, yeah. Wow, like the V word. What's the V word? Bonk. <laughs> <A> bonk. <laughs> yeah, close enough, right? You already filled one of those. <laughs> you passed. Fifteen. Okay, you were much less green. That's a nice roll in there, sir. I wish he had stayed green. He would have thrown up on Arizona's shoes this time. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't, want, I don't want to interrupt anything, but right now we're having like a unbelievable thunder and lightning storm, and there's pouring outside. And, like I can't even see the building across the street. That's oh, awesome wow. to me. It's boring here. It's actually cool. It's actually less humid for a change. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> so, all right. Um, Trey is unable to find the girl. The only place she could be is now on top of the train that you haven't looked, or in a freight car. Hmm. How's Elijah, Elijah doing? Do we have an eyeball on Elijah? Elijah's recovering. He, he looks like he feels a little guilty about what happened, but he also doesn't blame himself entirely since there are other people's inventions that he can play. Sure. Shoot me part. Um, what a waste. Arizona will approach Sir Clyden. Mr. Clyden, uh, I can't help but notice that uh, you started with three hired guns, but now you only got two. Where's your missing member? Did he was he late to board the train? That's none of your concern, son. 
Well, kind of is. I mean, he's there to protect you, and now your protection's a little bit less. My protection is completely satisfactory. I'll tell you, if you're looking to do better, I know six people who you can hire who will protect you fully. Just oh, yes. think about it. Yes, and how much will that cost me? Not too much more than you're paying those men in pajamas. Oh, We're very reasonable. And, and, and do you know what I'm paying those men in pajamas? I think that you are paying them quite well. <laughs> How much are they getting paid? Uh, that's not what you asked me. I asked you the question. All right, sir. Well, you have a good day now. Thank you. He walks away. <laughs> you know where we can, you can find us. All right. Um, All over the charts. So Elijah's there. He's a little shaken. Uh, you're kind of you're you, you guys are kind of in one of the corners of the lounge car. All right, go over and see if he's okay. Yeah, like, he's a little. I think he feels, he feels a little guilty that he might have done something to contribute to the you think? train issue. Hey, it was a cyclone. It was a cyclone on the engine. Thank you. We'll go back to the lounge car since we're there. Is the lounge car really crowded right now? Is, is this the primary gathering at area? Is it like... You know, people are kind of moving about the train somewhere in the passenger section because they didn't pay the extra to get access to the lounge car. Mm -hmm. Um... And then there's a few in the sleepers. You know, he he obviously spent enough to get a sleeper. He hooked you guys up with some accommodations. <laughs> I assume the first sleeper is very is that nice one. Yes. Yeah. And then we're in the second sleeper. That's barracks if you're lucky. Yes. So um, he's like, I'll I'll be okay if you want to check around, make sure everybody else is good. You know, I I feel a little obligated to make sure that nobody got hurt because could have been. Because this is a slim chance it could be related to what I added to the mix. Because this has never happened before, right? <laughs> well, he's never been La before. Last year, <laughs> last year they blew up the locomotive. <laughs> 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 this year, well, we we were crowded a lot. We were traveling all pretty darn quick there for a while. Is that why this is your first uh, symposium? <laughs> yeah, you didn't make last year because the train blew up? That's not important. We don't talk about that now. <laughs> Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suggest uh, to uh, Arizona that we stumble our way back to the freight train, the cargo hold. Okay. You know it's going to be guarded, right? Oh, oh, I do. Just the two of you? And the greens? Were you guys going to the sleeper? Oh, I'm going to go on. Okay. Go to stumble down to freight train. Freight See if there's a bathroom handy. Uh, actually, I tell you what, Chinaman, you go with the marshal because I think he's better with the, you know, marshal type kind of things. I got another chore that I need to take care of. It's a high priority chore. He is creeping me out, man. <laughs> I don't know which one the straight man wants to do. Listen, if he just tells you about you, Mrs. Grant, you just nod and say yes. He told me his hands was numb too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How are Arizona's hands now? They're, 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 they're a little tingly, more, a little more tingly, you know, later in the day. Are they uh, remotely usable at this point? Uh, yes and no. It's kind of like when your leg is waking up. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. Or your hands are waking up. It's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. They're kind of tingly. They hurt a little bit. They kind of feel. They kind of don't. So. I assume pocketing and palming would require negatives at this point. Oh, significant. Significant. Okay. Oh, I'm not even any needles for the next hour. I wanted to uh, take my Oliver? ticket and swap it with a rich person's ticket so I could sleep in their expensive uh, bed <laughs> bedroom and spunk room instead, but maybe I'll have to hold off on that. Oh, I've got to go on. <laughs> All right, so at this point, the... Uh, really work right one of the... Uh, Sir Cloud, the, the African guy, Riddle, breaks out a deck of cards and he says, I think it's time. We'll spend some time. You think you card you think you could hold cards at this point. Yeah, oh yeah? Yes. Oh. But you might have to play it straight. What? <laughs> well, you, you you would have negative two cheating though. Oh, all right. That's and, and then and, and then shuffle. uh Yeah. And one and one of the uh <laughs> <laughs> and Dottie says, well, I brought this from my homeland. And everybody give me a, mm, give me a common knowledge check. Smarts. Smarts? So you roll your smarts in your wild back. Okay. Ooh, snake eyes. <laughs> Fun, one, one joke. One face. One face pokes himself in the eye. Oh, Arizona yeah. got a four. Eight. So. 
Oh, nice lead. Did anybody hit Mikey with a raise? No. Did you, did you hit Mikey? I got a damn seven. Dawson ain't that smart. He rolled his two. Okay. <laughs> so they bring out a liquor, a bottle of liquor. And it's something that Wong Fei has never recognized. <laughs> I sure would like to have that lid. And Sir Fine waves you over. Oh, oh video. <laughs> Does it involve lighting a sugar cube on fire? No, come here, boy. Oh, is this a so, so you So you like your, your drinks. I love to drink. Well. Haven't touched this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this liquor has some special properties. Would you like a sip? Special properties. Uh, anything related to ghost stock? Yes, it is. I will not. Come on, this is the best stuff money can buy. It is probably, but I will refuse. Kindly appreciate it. Aged in barrels lined with ghost rock. That is a very fantastic, but I must humbly decline. Anybody else want to give this a try? Last time I was with ghost rock, I couldn't feel my damn hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this may make your hands feel really good, along with the rest of you. I don't know about maybe. that. Oh. What does it do for you? It's just one of those great drinks. It's like a, it's like a whiskey with a really strong cinnamon taste. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really good. Can I can I pour you? Pours one and puts it right in front of you. Do you want one too, city boy? I'll give it. What the heck? I'm here for new experience. Pours you one. Gives you one. Anybody else? A couple of the inventors saddle up. A couple is, of. Is the, anybody? Yeah. The castle amber module. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need the bread. Right, so you, you shoot Arizona's a gambler, and he will, even though he's a bit more ironic to do so. I need a spirit. <laughs> oh, spirit's my good one. Oh, it works out. I got a three. You got bennies. Uh, you know, I do have a benny. Four. I'm going to use the blue Benny on this one. I'm really? Yeah. So you're just going to add a D6 to the roll then? Three plus a D6 versus re-rolling. No, no. I'll use a white. Here's the white. Oops, sorry. Nice catch. Whoa. Nice catch. <laughs> Snake eye? You got close. I got a two. You know what? I'll do one more. You know one more Benny. You don't want to find out what happened. I don't want to know what happened. It would be any worse than this. <laughs> Remember, remember, remember there was something to talk from Castle Amber, it was better if you failed it. Besides, I'm a gambler. Oh, there's oh. an eight, an eight and a two. Eight and a three. So, eleven. Okay. So, it is this, some of the smoothest liquor you've ever had. <gasps> it slides down. <laughs> it makes your belly all nice and How warm. How smooth is it coming up? <laughs> oh, coming up good. Oh, so good. Ooh. Cool. <laughs> So would anybody like to know how you failed the check? Sure. Sure. If the drinker fails the spirit roll, he, does, he no. gains a habit. Major. Ghost rock. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> On a roll of steak eyes, he also goes berserk per the edge for 1d6 days, during which time he is delusional. Major. <laughs> I rolled a 2 and a 1 on my second second use of the Benny there. Yeah. And believes that everyone is his, more, is his mortal enemy. He gains a permanent bloodthirsty hindrance to boot. Wow. Whoa. Only greater healing cast by a blessed or shaman can mend a mind shattered by ghost that. rock. That is... Hey, I think I'll have another. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> I probably would have toned it down one, but the major habits you would have got. Yeah. I could just see... Actually, I was really hoping Bob would be really good about, I need a fix. <laughs> Bob's like, damn it, be, I should have made it now. My arm would be gnawed off by... Uh, <laughs> yeah, right? You'd be rude. I'm, I'm just saying he's looking for the whole Ghost Rock history. So. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Would Lord. Be, wouldn't Ooh, character development, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't bad, but uh, I suggest next time I know a man who's got a tonic and you put that. <clears throat> well, we're in the company of ladies, but yeah. I'll, you, you can guess where you put that. It's a wonderful experience. You should try that sometime. I will take your word for that. For mm -hmm. him and her. So right. I see that there's a deck of cards here. Yes, there is. Uh, you know, they're not going to play themselves. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, does anybody else want to join us? Well, you know, you got me. Have right. you ever played 52 card pickup? <laughs> I'm very good. Let me see cards. Did you guys want to go check the freight train? Yes. You it? Yeah. Let's see you guys. 52 all right, anybody else, all right, anybody going with those guys to check the train? Boy, come on. Oh, right. I'm, I'm still looking for the girl. Card. 
All right, so you're going with that? Go with the freight truck, yeah. Uh, Mike, are you staying with Arizona to gamble, or are you going to look at the, fr and look at the freight car? Uh, I, I think there's an upgrade with the freight car. I think somebody needs to keep an eye on Arizona. Last time somebody didn't keep an eye on somebody gambling, Somebody got shot in the head. <laughs> You're just the guy to protect uh, them. Well, at least, at, least, at least we can all let it go. <laughs> all right, so you guys head on back to the, uh, oh, we're splitting the party. Yeah. It's a train. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Now, how yeah. far yeah. apart can we be? Like 500 feet. <laughs> yes. Like cars break apart. All right, so you guys, who is leading the way That's back toward the have. train? I'll lead. Who's leading the way back toward the freight car? Oh, freight car is me. Okay, so you first, then... I'll follow John. John then I'll you'll... follow him. I thought you were doing your own thing. So I'm, you stay I'm behind me. Cause... Stay behind these signs, boy. All right, so it's Wong, Warren, Trey, Trey, Warren, Robert. Robert. Warren, yes. Okay, everybody give me a notice check. Wong is at his score. Warren is a minus one, being the second guy, the first guy behind him. One on top of my minus Trey three. will be minus two. Robert will be minus okay. three. I got a one. So I got a minus one along with my oh, minus two. Oh, so oh, so I really problem. need to roll. <laughs> you never know. I'm not gonna notice anything. You get a couple of fours. Hey, I'm short too, so there are a couple of explosions. I'm small. One. No, oh, actually zero. All right, so both Warren. Did you roll your two dice? I got a three and a three. Okay. But they're minus two because he's untrained, so it's one. So that's a zero and a zero. So Warren trips over <laughs> the uh, Trey trips over over two feet, bumping into Warren. Well, Wong fight, Wong fight. Once again, the man who can't see because he's so drunk and blind. Mm, I see three of everything. Makes thinks me he sees a blue, uni uh, <laughs> like part of a blue uniform scurry up the ladder between cars. Whoa. I think I saw a big giant blue rat. Your imagination. Scurrying up. Or uh, possibly, is that the railroad people? Is that well, the girl was union? was one of the the three union blue uh, blue union blue worker bees. If the union blue people were union blue. Yes, they do. Do you see anything, science guy? What did you see? I saw three blue men climb up ladder. You, know, you saw one. You no, saw he's the, saw three. Okay. <laughs> I saw three men, maybe one. <laughs> Climb up ladder. Uh, up top. Big giant rat could be too. Very <laughs> well, bro. Let's go up the ladder. Oh. Or you two go up the ladder. We'll stay here and continue ahead. Not going up any ladder. Well, this is this is between <laughs> your sleeping car and the, the first freight car. Might have also had note he wanted to kill the man we we're protecting, but that could all be made up. <sighs> what, um, what, what, what? I go up. You go up. <laughs> you heard Wong Fei, you going up there too? Killing the man we're protecting? Well, we'll go up. Anybody else? I might also All right, back in the, back in the uh, gambling establishment. Now we separate. Now we're three groups. Yeah, thanks, three groups. Wong, I mean uh, Arizona. He's back to you. He's back. He's back. I'm gambling. All right, so give me your gambling. Do you just want to do a gambling roll, or do you want to play the whole card thing? No, no, no. Just quick gambling roll. We'll get back to the action. All right. Huh? Are you Six. with the, these guys? No, I'm with you. Seven. Oh, did you go up? Seven. Seven. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, I don't remember how it works, but don't worry about it. Uh, just, I'll, I'll make a counter gambling roll. Okay. I'll make, I'll make two and two different people. You rolled a seven. All right, you won four bucks. Woohoo. Um, well, make money. Wait a minute, maybe I should go back to camp. What are you doing, what are you doing Dawson? Uh, Dawson's just kind of standing behind Arizona, just kind of keeping an eye on, on all the people that are in the room and just doing what and where they are. Yeah, Dawson. Are four aces good? Paul. <laughs> 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 He's not really paying attention to the cards that Arizona has. We're paying attention to everybody around. Yeah. All right, you give me a notice. Give me I don't want to have the same situation as I did with my former brother. You give me a notice check. Uh, the guys who went to the freight car, give me a notice check. Him? Yep. I'm never a okay. Nick Harris really don't know this. <laughs> it's, it's just one of those, it's like a given skill. Ah, seven. Oh, well done. So well, no, Chris, not you, Chris. You went up the ladder. You're different. Oh, uh, yep. And then take the higher result. So now oh, you're... I'll keep my eyes open. I'll keep it going. Thirteen. Well, All right. Uh, Eleven. Very impressive. Okay, so... Uh, that was a two for all you out there. Robert, it. Robert says it's He's a door. One side, Joel's watching the other. <laughs> Robert says there's a door there, uh, to which Warren's 
expert martial eyes believe that somebody was trying to pick the lock to get in there. Somebody was going to pick something there. At the same time, I need agility checks from Trey and Wong Fei, who climbed up the ladder. And because I actually thought... What? Like, oh, you. <laughs> and you realize that command only gives bennies in combat. Three. Thirteen. You got notice? What do you notice? Your notice is D4, they're rolling notice like a man. Does anybody in the group have a notice higher than D4? That was an agility check. I have a D6. Yeah, an agility check. That's six. That was an agility. I have common sense. I, I took notice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Have you played this system before? Uh, come on, I got a great, I got a great picture. That's an awesome picture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what did... Uh, Is that from Indiana Jones and Last Crusade? It's from Google. I, I don't know. For those who can't see it, it's a, it's a top of a tree. What did, what did he get? <laughs> it's a top 13. It's a top of a tree. Right, he, hopefully he grabs me and pulls me back in. So, My drunk walk face super. scurries up the ladder, back flips onto the top of the uh, uh, train. It's just, he's behind you. He says, oh. everything's all set up here. Are you coming? He slips. Oh, shit. You better give me an agility check so you can catch it. Sorry, guys. Oh, shit. You're sounding like a rabbi again. Oh, what is this? What is this? Blowing up the train? This is crazy <laughs> shit. Seven. All right, so you you grab Trey's arm just as he loses balance. What? Um, Mikey's gone. He fell off the train. I mean, literally, he's out of the room. No, he fell off the train. I think he's here. He might have just stepped out. Briefly. Yes, he hears the pitter patter of feet. Yeah, he had his monster. Yeah. <laughs> he hears the pound of feet running across the car overhead. Y'all do? That everybody does? Mikey does. Uh, Dawson does because he was playing notice. But I have to. It's okay. Uh, your notice check allows you to hear the, the patter of feet running overhead. So I, 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 try, not, I try to do my best not to look up like I want to be suspicious. Like I just heard something. Like <laughs> It's not, it's not like Adam running. <laughs> it's more like Jules. No, not Jules. Somebody <laughs> agile. <laughs> Rudy. Yeah, like Rudy running. Uh, so I, so I turn to uh, Arizona. Kind of lean down and say, "It was that. Something going on." And it wasn't being rolled by Mike. A few pockets. Oh. Maybe, uh, maybe pennies from heaven, Dawson. So. I don't know. Last time I heard pennies from heaven, they didn't sound like pennies. Hmm. You think we should uh, sit tight or go check things out? I don't think we should wait. Maybe we should wait for the guys to come back and see what, see if they heard you or. We see Wong Fei's oh. face in the window. I think that makes sense. Oh, uh, somebody's got to keep an eye on Elijah, I suppose. Not, uh, all right, back to... You guys are good? You got to hold off? You got to hold? Uh, yeah, we're going to hold. Okay. Back to Robert and Warren. He was in the door. It does not appear to have been opened, but there's definitely looks like they're, per Warren's expert eye, um, efforts to pick the lock. You know, I'm sure probably, that's what he says. I could probably pick this myself. I taught everybody. Huh? I've got um, lock picking skill. You're, are you at, speaking as Joel right now, or as Warren? Uh, as Warren. Oh, you were in box before Sure, you guys. It comes, it comes with the profession. Sure. Nobody else is Lose your keys right? in the jail so much? I, I don't know if I have anything that can help you, but yeah, go for it. Oh, here's the pocket, guys. I'm just trying to pick the lock. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm a tanger. <laughs> I got a uh, five. Hey, success. You hear it. Click. And the, uh, you believe you re released the lock? Uh, it could be booby. But the door doesn't open yet. Booty trap. That's what I said. Booty trap. Booty trap. All right, well, will you uh, think, Robert? You want to take a look inside? Yeah, I was thinking that you should go first there. Warren. You're, <laughs> you're the sheriff. Oh, look at this ability. Wow. <laughs> can choke a horse right now with all this ability we've got going on here. Let's we'll see if the door opens. Yeah, before you do that, I should probably draw, draw our weapons. I'll draw my badge. 
Does anybody have a ten foot pole? I do. <laughs> oh, oh, game. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's not like there's going to be a gelatinous cube. We're talking about you, Jerry. A gelatinous cube. No more. That's a good reference. <laughs> Do I have to explain that to the audience? You touch it? Maybe. <laughs> in our third D and D night, there was a wall. There was a door that was kind of sh uh, spark, mm -hmm. shimmery a little bit, and our wizard went up and said, "I touch it," <laughs> which turned out to be a gelatinous cube that instantly enveloped him. Yeah. What was that? Was, that was good times. You were so excited. <laughs> you, you touch it? You touch it? You really? You, you really? You touch it? <laughs> of course, I touch it. It's shimmer. Why would I not? So anyway. <clears throat> Um, the door doesn't give. You, you think there might be a second lock on it somewhere that you're not immediately able to see. Well, I'm not going to mess around with this. Oh, that's the obvious one. Well, wait for the uh, science board. Wong and Trey, they, you, you get up there. Mm -hmm. Back to the top of the train, we have uh, Trey and Wong Fei, who has just saved Trey from being blown off the top of the train. That would have been really awesome, by the way, if he'd blown off. Uh, no split the party. No problem. I think you have a very different definition of awesome yeah. than the rest of us do. <laughs> uh, Marshall, posse. Do you, <laughs> do, do you know why? Because I've taken the Bob book lately. <laughs> I've been taking the pages out of the Bob GM guide. Well, let's let's let just see what happens. They <laughs> Sometimes they're going to make the dice do really bad things if, I, they don't, if they don't do them naturally. Yeah. <laughs> <You're dead. laughs> That's why you have a GM screen. But I have let you guys... Roll the dice all night long and That's see true. what happens. That's true. So, all right. Um, so, at, you guys are on top of your car. You turn around. You look ahead. Um, at least four cars down, you see, looks like somebody's scurrying down. You, know, you just see the top of their jacket or, or their head. Um, it is definitely the long-haired woman, the, the, dark, the, the, the woman you saw, because the hair is blowing along. And she's four. We can count four cars. Somewhere around there. You can see where she is. We went yeah. back in and walked out. Yeah. Or you can run across the top, because that would be cooler. But whatever you want. <laughs> so you guys are trying to chase her with an agility check or without one? Uh, being cool, a... not cool. Uh, Trey? I've never heard of anybody falling out of the inside of a train. Shall we run? Uh, I'm going to take a little bit slower. It's a very, very sobering experience. I'd better drink. Bro, so I hustle after her. Over the top of the train? As carefully as can be. All right, we're going up to the top. I'm stumbling, by the way, drunkenly. I'll need some agility checks for that. Five. Six. All right. Um, Five. What's your pace and what's your pace? Six. You're probably six as well. Yeah. Who knows? Six. Six. All right, and what you both you both made your agility check with five and a six. Mm -hmm. You made six. Mm -hmm. Chris. All right, um, Wong Fei out distance this Trey a little bit. Oh, drunk and so you get to the Don't where she went down while Trey is still crossing the back of the car. So say you're at the front of the car, Trey's at the back of the car. Do you go in and try to pinch her in the car, assuming that's the car she went into, or did she go forward? You don't know. I'm giving you an option here. We do we do pinchy pinchy. Uh, we do pinchy. I like pinching. Get that girl on pincher motion. Mm -hmm. I yell back to him. Do you see any? Do you see which way she went? I see three. <laughs> hey, one went forward. One went backwards. Oh, Christ, I don't know where the other one went. Do I know that he's not going to shut? Do I know that he's not going to shut? Do I and comes up with Christ. Can we tell which way she went if we yeah. see a door slam? Or no, she went there? down a ladder. That was it. Yeah. She dropped out of you. She could have fallen into the train fall, you know. Oh. This was that. Maybe she climbed around the side. You just can't see it. I give him the universal pinch sign. <laughs> All right, I jumped down. Climb down. <laughs> I'm going to try a handstand. <laughs> And then... All right, so you guys actually find yourselves uh, on either side of the dining car, which is empty at this time, other than... Nobody in it? Uh, there's a, a waiter in there. There's a, there's, there's a little bit of staff I didn't tell you about. There's a waiter, a waitress, a bartender. Um, Why are we chasing this car? She's just been chasing the waitress. <laughs> She doesn't run across the top of the train to get away from us. There's a lot of effort, well, just, a lot of effort for one girl. Trey, take a hint, okay? She's not that a deal. All right, so... Um, I signal let's go to the other car. Like this. 
Let's go to the other car. See you. <laughs> the waitress follows. You catch her in the dining car. Oh, what are you doing? Where are you going so fast? What I'm working. On the, on the roof? Sometimes it's easier to get, get the scurry around up there than to deal with all the people down here. This car looks pretty empty to me. It would have been faster just to uh, come straight through. Yeah, but I also have to go through the sleeper cars and the lounge car. Like the lounge car is way too busy. I asked the, uh, the other guys who work on this train, and no one's ever seen you before. They say you're a newbie. That wouldn't be the truth, because I've worked with those guys for years. I don't believe it. <laughs> Whoa, battle, battle of wits. <laughs> Been crazy. You did well in there, by the way. What, what did you do to the train to speed it up? Me? What makes you think I did anything? You knew exactly where to go. You knew exactly what to pull. I might have had a uh, ghost drop optimizer strapped to the boiler to increase the fuel efficiency. Well, oh, to increase the oxygen output of the, uh, the intake. Yes, it's if you do that. like to deal with uh, increasing the oxygen output of things. <laughs> I just run around on top of the train. <laughs> do you have something to to uh, do? You get to, or to do you have a science project you're working on? <laughs> science project? Yeah, it's doing midterms. <laughs> I, I made the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> she pats you on the side of the cheek, gives you a kiss on the other one, and says, "You'll just have to wait and find out." She scurries away. Yes. And yeah, oh. she's that good looking. <laughs> back to Bob. Back to Trey. Ah, yes, Draw now it. we're back to the real story. Let's see if I can win some more money off of these fools. <laughs> and you're not even cheating. I know, well, hands are tied. That we know of. <laughs> Five. Oof. These bends. No, I'll keep the bennies. Oh, he's exploding. Look at those rolls. I can't stand the... You play a few more hands. Excitement. The excitement has actually increased your blood flow in your hands. It's actually starting to feel better. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. And, you know, a little heart pumping. Adrenaline flowing. A little flowing. adrenaline flowing. Blood is flowing. That's fantastic. He lose two bucks. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Now to get some blood flowing like that. Fill me up and then knock me down. That's what I'm here for. I'm still up $2, though. All right. Uh, Warren and Robert. Arthur Dawson, you got anything? Or are you still watching him? No, I'm still watching All right. Um... Robert and Warren. Oh, are the ninjas all three back, or is it still just two ninjas guarding? You only ever see two. Hmm. Of course, you can't tell them apart. <laughs> <laughs> are they wearing the full-on masks, so all you can see is their eyes kind of thing? No, it's just they all look the same to you. Because oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just being fake right now. Okay, <laughs> well, one fake could be one of them, for all we know. How do you know he's not? <clears throat> exactly. Are my hands good enough that uh, uh, they're fully functional, or is it like 70% still? It's not yet there. Put my neck, 70%. Got it. Okay. Oh, Robert. I thought you picked the lock, Warren. Why is the door open? Hey, Warren. Jeff. Marshall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> what are you up to? I thought you picked the lock. Why is the door opening? It doesn't. I told you it doesn't open. There's, there must be some other lock on this. Maybe it's locked from the inside. That's how else would somebody get in? Maybe there's somebody inside. Why don't we knock on the door and find out? So we can let them know that we're trying to get in when we're not supposed to be getting in. Okay, so we'll knock and duck. I don't know. What, what do you got? You're supposed to be the the investigative expert here. Well, I was waiting sure. for the science guy to come back. Oh, he's not here. We gotta well, make do without he up, him. He went up there, so he's coming back down there. Or he's coming back down in some other car, and we need to figure out what to do without him. Why don't, why don't you lock that lock back up, and then we'll just go get a drink? I've got lock picking skill. I don't have lock locking skill. <laughs> you can pick it open. You can pick it close. Can I make a reverse? Pick you can pick your friend. If he's already picked it, you, you can, can lock pick it. your friend. Because isn't no. that just a matter of clicking? Your friend's lock. No, I mean you got to turn it one way. I have to turn it back. Oh, all right, fair enough. Four. 
You successfully lock the door back up. I'm getting pretty good at this. Just like locking somebody in jail. Which I've done many times. <laughs> right. Let's go get a drink. <laughs> what about the uh, giant guy and the science guy? Did you teach Wyatt Earp how to lock the door? <laughs> Tell him everything he knows about locking, locking jail cells. <laughs> <coughs> they know where to find us. They're they're probably they probably came down somewhere else to train anyway. All of your brothers. Why don't you work <laughs> Hey Robert, why don't you climb the ladder and just take a look up there and see if you see him? Alright. I'll Do climb up the ladder just just poke my head up above and look around. You don't need to make an auxiliary check for that. I feel like this is an <laughs> Abbott and Costello skit. Right <laughs> okay, back up. Okay, go ahead. Do you see him? Nope, nothing up here. What did they do? Vault the train? It probably went down the Could have fallen car. off the train. Curse well, of those bennies. <laughs> Speed chips. If they fell off, we'll find out tomorrow. Or later. Well, let's let's, let's walk back to the car. That's just more money for us. Let's, well, I think the rate was per person per day. But let's walk back to the cars and take a look for them. All right. So I guess we're walking back. All right. So you head on back. Um... Once again, you all managed to find your way into the lounge where Arizona's gambling away. The uh, You notice Arizona is losing, but he's got a big smile on his face. <laughs> it seems very strange. He's thinking about tonight, isn't he? Wong Fei walks behind him. What does it mean to have ace, two, three, four, five? Oh, whatever. <sighs> Apples. <laughs> Give me another gambling roll since you find You notice... Uh, Arizona now is like moving chips a little with a little more agility in between his fingers. It's not perfect. He drops one. Yep. Uh, two. Just one. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you lose you lose another two dollars. Oh, I'm back to even. So, the uh, conductor comes in. <clears throat> he announces, uh, well, after two long days being cooped up with the Hellstrom Express, the conductor announces that the halfway point of the journey. Salina, Kansas, is only a few hours away. Warily, Dr. Bailey pulls you aside for a quiet meeting in the empty dining car. George Bailey? Hmm. We've entered bloody Kansas, he says. This is where things get interesting. Kansas, bloody Why do you say Between that? Between the bandits and the regulators, so it's best to be cautious. Here, take these tonics and liniments and don't hesitate to use them if the situation warrants. Obviously, he's been holding them back for you. What's a... What's a Bailey hands over a wooden box with a hand his lid. A brass plate on top is stamped with a monogram EOB, which is obviously his initials. Assignment of benefits? You know with the EOB. Yeah. Or... Gabe, you know me. <laughs> uh, we open the box, and what do we see inside? All right, there are four potions in there. Who's uh, uh, Who's not here at the meeting? <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> the first one is Bailey's Refreshing Tonic. Heals two wounds. Whoa! Mm. Cost three power points, but I don't think that matters as far as you're drinking They're baked them. into the... Yeah. yeah it would, for for um, him, it wouldn't matter. Elijah. Right. Um, you making notes of the fight? Yeah. All right. So while you do that, I'll hold off. I got it. Keep going. Uh, Elijah's little pick-me-up, which is quickness. So it's two actions around for three rounds. Mm, that's nice. Yeah. Yep. Then there is Vim Juice, V-I-M Juice, yep. and that's a trait boost that raises strength to two steps to three rounds. I just want to say that's much better than Emax Juice. I need that. Yeah. I need me some strength. And then lastly, there is Crimson Steer, which Whoa. is also another boost trait, raises spirit one step to four rounds. I'm going to high spirit. What do we use spirit? What do you need to show you? We well, haven't done a lot of fighting. Oh, good. We have not done a lot of fighting yet. Don't oh, fight until me. Really? I have tried to make you fight. I have tried to make you drink. <laughs> did you wait, Did you get my stuff? I, I sent it to you. Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, You're actually too tall. I see you've got just four tonics in this box, but there are uh, six bodyguards. Uh, that that is all I can spare right now. Really? Yes. I only have a, I only have one more of each left to showcase. At the symposium. Mr. Banks, have you considered, just for a moment, have you considered the possibility that if you brought 50 tonics with you, just just bear with me. They don't brew that easily, sir. If you brought, if you had a year to prepare. I've just perfected them. 
So what have you been doing for the last year? Just the right amount of Ghost Rock, just the right amount of other things. You can understand that well, if you had 50 of these. Ghost Rock in these? Just 50. Oh, I'm not. Uh, wait, so are these yeah, things safe? Go, yes, perfectly safe. I've tried them with people. Like, say if I like your grease concoction that you, you gave to me earlier. This has much less Ghost Rock in it than the grease concoction. I see. Safe like the whiskey that we drank earlier today. You gotta be stupid to try that. Um, uh -huh. Yep. Oh wait, you tried. I'm sorry. All right. I should have warned you. I was a little. We get a little absent-minded lately. All right. Well. Thank oh yeah. You. Well, it's a good thing that Ghost Rock is safe. Hey, uh, you said uh, a re uh, there were bandits and something else. What did you say? Regulators. What the hell's that? Regulators. Mount up. <laughs> 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 were you alive in the '90s? <laughs> didn't you? Didn't you? even I watched Young Guns? Said, oh, never mind uh, the I War of Young Song too. It was War and It sampled the Young Guns. Yeah. The quotes from Young Guns didn't oh, catch no. themselves in my mind. Uh, young, the regulators are what's what I'm looking for. Po Posses that take the law into their own hands. They're, 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 they're a private they're security class. force. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Uh, that's why it's my eighth So is that what exactly is a regulator, yeah. sir? No longer open. Regulators are groups of uh, privately hired protection. Much like you guys, except much less honorable. Regularly. And they like to rob trains, I take it. They like to rob everything. Some, so, of, some of them do, some of them are just in protection. They robbed me the wrong way. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're good. You're right. Yep, yep, yep. Right, so now I assume that we're going to have a lookout on top of the train day and night to watch out for the, these uh, guys. Yeah. Well, like I said, they'll be in Selena in a day. We'll be in a couple hours. So that while the sun's up, it's not a big deal. I see. Nothing can catch the course can't catch the train at this point anyway. So it's when we're stopped, that's the, probably the biggest danger? Actually, when we're leaving, it's probably the biggest danger. What about a in, the city, in the city, we're probably okay. Why are we stopping? Why don't we just continue on to Kansas? Got to refuel. Oh, all right. They want to inspect the uh, locomotive for damage. It's the first, stop, the first good stopping point. So they want to check the locomotive for damage. So the first see what those good stopping did. point is in a regulator and cutthroat infested area. Good job whoever made this map. Hey, they think that next time we could just add a 12th car that contains fuel and then we don't have to stop? Well, the problem becomes then that you have to carry even more fuel because you're carrying more weight. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Somehow I think that, that the ratio would, well, I don't know much about science, but... That physics. If I had. All right. How long are we staying in this in Salinas pool? Just for the night. Just for the night. So why do we just not leave the train? Are you leaving the train, sir? I have no intention of leaving the train. All right. Well, you're a wiser man than I thought. That's good news. All right. Might I suggest that you work on another such tonic, just in case things get hairy? Uh, I can't. I can't. Cause I got to open everything up. I can't do it. It takes hours, days, almost a day to brew. Almost a day to brew. But we've got two days until we get to our destination. I can't do it on a train. The motion, the the the. the the mixtures don't allow the, they don't work with the rocket motion. We're not rocking anymore. We got all those. It's still, it's still some shaking. So oh, help them out with the mixer right process. <laughs> I don't know that you, you're welcome to, I'm well, willing to talk to you about it. Yeah, but I can't divulge my secrets to you either. 75 so, miles north. Well, we appreciate the help that you're providing, that's for sure. I appreciate your protection. Why? Uh, everybody give me a notice check, quick. <laughs> Are we going to notice that he's full of shit? Or is that street lights? <laughs> There's only got a three? Four. Five. Oh, well done. I'm great. You're doing well. Seventeen? Mm -hmm. Seventeen? Good lord. Wow. The magic force? Good job, Bob. Wong <laughs> Fei takes another <laughs> sip of his flask. So Wong Fei has another shot of booze and can read the, uh, the grain pattern in the wood to tell the future. Why am I special talent, boy? You see a, a shadow lingering just outside the door of the car. That when you look up, seems that there's like somebody was listening. And as soon as they noticed you looked up, they disappeared. Mm. It might be the liquor talking, but... I swear, I thought I saw a shadow. Maybe, oh, really? maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> and we do. Well, was that the shadow cast by the sun? Like, because there's lots, there is a shadow in this compartment. Is that what you're talking about? If a shadow looks like a man, like this, then yes. 
<laughs> Look, one well, thing. See what I'm doing with my hands here? Now, it's, now. See now, I'm making a bunny. See mm -hmm. how its mouth is moving? And yes. wait, no, now it's an alligator. Oh. You see that? Did you see that? Did you see? So oh, there's the elephant. Now. Could you make? Uh, could you make booze? I'm afraid I'm not that good with well, shadow. I shall not listen no more. I see. Where? What door? Uh, window over to the left. The, do the door. Yeah, the, the door. I said. Dawson, can you see if there's anybody there? Yeah. Dawson heads over. You're trying to. Take a look around. Stick the head out. Google Maps. You don't see anything out there. And you can't believe without getting shot off. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't see anything out there, but the door um, to the compartment in front of you, which would be, you think I would just write this down easily, uh, the dining car is kind of banging a little bit like it's just finished and closing. Uh, can we follow? Dawson, Dawson takes off that direction. All right. Arizona won't let Dawson alone. Dawson saved his life the day before. So you, you, you race into the, the dining car. There's uh, three or four inventors there. Sir Klein is there. His, one of his Chinamen is standing behind him. And then there was one. That's the other two. Now. Dawson quickly asked him, did you guys see anybody come through this car just now through that door? And uh, Klein says... Uh, uh, I, I do believe a, a union repairman went that way. Uh, Arizona can try to do a notice check to see if uh, either Clyde or the other people look guilty or that they are fabricating or the other people disagree. That's streetwise. That's streetwise. Well, I'm untrained in that, so I will just roll a d4 minus two. And a d6 minus two. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try the same thing, although... And... I exploded on the four. And I got a four. Four? You, I got a four too. Oh, okay. Alright, so you don't see that they have any reason to lie to you. Okay. So, uh, you know, there's no, there's no disbelief on your part. They look all on the up and up. Huh. Alright, thank you for your time. Dawson, what do you think? Well, we know it's one of the union guys, and we know there's only there's only a couple of them that it could be. So, unless somebody's got another union uh, uniform on the train, uniform. Um, um, that's, uh, that's possible. I guess we should go back. Right, well, we can go back, and we can head through and see what we find out. See what we see. All right. I think we lost them by now, but sure. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Let's head back. I want to I wanna check on that China man and see what the hell he's been drinking anyway. He sees lots of things. He's got good eyes, that guy. In multiple, though. I don't understand this. I see three of things all the time. I also see dead people. <laughs> so, so, you know, well, China man, you're going to be one of them dead people. Huh? We're so, on a train with a mysterious shadowy figure popping in and out. Do I need to roll perception to look for... Uh, uh, purple kangaroo or a blue uh, penguin or a, no. some sort of master of disguise. No. Just drink some more of his uh, whiskey. <laughs> For those who aren't getting out of the joke, there's a cartoon in the backyard against, which yep. they, they are always having different things, and one of them is the master of disguise on a train. <laughs> uh, okay. Master of disguise, master of disguise. They sing and dance a lot. It's really quick, though. Dawson so, wants to know where does the Chinaman get all of his alcohol from? He never seems to have a, because he's having an endless supply. Well, you, you see, alcohol comes from rice wine, uh, some called it uh, liquor, and some you, and then there's places. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems like a reasonable answer. You think there, Dawson? I guess it's as reasonable as it can be, but <laughs> I, I don't know. Send the engine to the channel, man. Uh, I guess we should also discuss the distribution of these here tonics. All right, so it's been, by the way, it's been a, uh, a couple days. So you've each made your $40, 20 per day. Oh, ah, okay. Just to make sure you're on the up and up. So we're up $40 from our current cash? Yeah, I, I do it now when Jeff's leaving, so he doesn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take his 40 So we're getting paid now. Well, you, you've been getting paid half of your wage every day, and you'll get the second half when everything is done. Okay. 
Now, well, I don't want to be a trouble, but I do know that you have an outstanding debt with me. If you'd like to pay me those $23 now, we can settle up. How shall interest? I shall pay you 40 I have no need. And there is a bartender. I have no need for, for money. Well, there was interest, but your, only, your interest only came to 25 You can keep the rest. Give it to your charity or something. So I'm 35 more. <laughs> 25 plus your total 23. Is that what you want? Uh, 25. 25 PDs. So you're plus 15. <laughs> Bob just made himself profit. Chris was just spent. When he played Chris's character. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> that nice, huh? Like, but I would have done Are you guys brothers? If it's any consolation, I would have done the exact same yeah, thing if he was like here. Joel. Though, well. Joel, we need to be brothers. <laughs> you had a brother. He's right there. You had a brother. He's got all your stuff. Now. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Exactly. All right. How do you want to divvy up these things? I think the China man has some skill with the fighting, so I'm thinking maybe the. Why don't you just leave in the box too? No. Keep them. Use them when you need them. I don't think that. You want to put me in a box? Give them to our people now. I box. Put the China man in a box. That'd be fun. I'm thinking it'd just be easier to manage if they were in the box. No, the box. Stolen, the box gets broken. I mean, now the bad guys know that it's in the box, at least if we mix it around among ourselves. They don't know. And if you're in a fight, are you going to be like, oh, I need to in the box here? I just want to know what's in the box. <laughs> I just, you know, Robert is not interested in any of those tonics. We make boxes here. <laughs> the box factory. The box factory. <laughs> I, I think I'd propose, Dawson, I don't know if you'd agree, and, and Marshall. Maybe uh, the little pick-me-up, the quickness, maybe that goes to Dawson, who we know is very good with a gun. And then perhaps the Vim juice, which improves your strength, maybe that should go to Wong Pei. We know he's good with his hands. Wong Pei, Wong Pei. Is that true? If it's made out of... Um, it is imbued with the, the slightest bit of ghost rock. Yeah, he won't touch it. Oh, he's not going to touch it. Oh. Yeah, did you write your four dollar game down? Of course. Have a pen or something? And then maybe we give, if uh, Wong Fei won't drink it, I don't know, Marshall, do you want this? Is anybody else good with their hands in a fight? What is it? It's a... Liquor? It's some sort of tonic, and it makes you stronger. Uh, I don't think so. All right. I, I, mean, I have a fighting skill plus one, D6. I'm already playing, so... I'm guessing you're better at shooting than you are at fighting, Dawson. Would that be true? Uh, that is true. Yeah. That's definitely true. Give him a bow and arrow and he'll shoot the bulls <laughs> like. Robert Harrison? Between your no, eyes and my carcass. Nothing? Arrow or my coat. No, thank you. Hell. I've experimented a little bit with that kind of stuff. Not a good idea. I don't know. I was thinking you might have the refreshing tonic. You could take it for yourself or give it to someone else. Times get tough. You would agree? Mm-hmm. All right. So we got two left over. We got the Vim juice, which makes you strong, and the Crimson Spear, which spear. makes you... Spear. Spear. Oh, Crimson -E Spear, excuse me, which gives you more spirit. Give you a little spirit. Hey, I, I don't... That, that spirit juice could have come in real handy for my brother. <laughs> uh, well, maybe we give the spirit juice but, but to... But since he ain't with us no more, maybe we ought to give that to the, to the, what, what, to the sheriff dude over there, or whatever he is, or sheriff, uh, Warren? he is, and he's got a sick badge. But whatever he, he is. Don't know how to use that gun. He looks like he can use some of that, because I ain't seen him do anything else other than say what he used to do. Oh, you, you and all your people, you're trying to know what, what I do. <laughs> all right, all right now, up. let's not get all in each other's... I ain't never, I ain't never seen what you really other. actually do. Gentlemen, I'll ask you while we're on the train if we could all be civil to each other. But I think you have a good suggestion there, Dawson. Maybe, Marshall, you take the, uh, the Crimson Spear. What do you say to that? What am I going to do with that? You get, fight, you get wounded, you drink that. Maybe you can... Uh, oh, fine. Get, we'll get wounded. Right, maybe, I can, maybe I can barter this okay. for a nice salad. <laughs> <somewhere. laughs>
You can't switch it. Hey, you know, in case you fall mm -hmm. on your keys or something, Warden. Extra hip flexion. You can do the um, Warden, which one? The Running Man? Warden, Marshal, whatever you want to call yourself. Sheriff to you. You ain't no sheriff to me. <laughs> <laughs> But if you can fall down on your keys or something to get hurt, you might want to stay back. You're going to be looking for help someday. You're going to be happy I'm here. All right, I will, I will make you easy. There are no negatives to using these potions. Okay. But you guys are really paranoid about this. I think strength wasn't so small. Done. I'm a small man syndrome. Okay. Done. Holy on it. All right, so uh, just for the record, we... Yeah, so for the record, we've got Trey, he's got two. Trey's got the the healing tonic, which he could give to somebody else if needed. And he's also got the Vim juice, which will make him stronger, since he's kind of a weak fellow. Marshall has got the Crimson Steer, which improves spirit. And then you've got the winner out of all of them, Dawson, the one that provides quickness, Elijah's little pick-me-up. That gives you two actions around for three rounds. Mental quickness? Well, not everything's perfect. <laughs> Oh, well, next time. In the end. That sound like a plan, guys? Works out good. All right, stash them away someplace safe, and uh, just be prepared. There might be pickpockets on board who want to get their hands on that. But you're already right here in front of us. What are you talking about? I, I don't know. That is ridiculous. Josh, I store them in my uh, wallet. I can't believe I have a few spaces. In your hollow leg? <laughs> All right, where are you guys right now doing this? Mm -hmm. Well, we are in the dining hall, but the problem now is that we might be seen in the dining hall. So maybe we should move to a more private space. Well, I mean, there's, I mean, the six of you could be sitting at a table just exchanging things very casually with with relative privacy. As a friend say, no shaman. Hold on, hold on one second. Oh, hey, what, Wong Chinaman, say whatever, who you are. You see any more shadows? Oh, I see lots of shadows all over the place. Oh, what was that? Never mind. Oh, wait, was that a squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> we scan the room. We see if there's anybody in there. We all do notice checks, I presume. Yeah, there's, 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 I mean, there's nobody blatantly in the room. Yeah. The bartender's there. The oh. bartender's in the last car. The, the waiter's off to the side. Let's see, because the bartender's really good friends with one. I will go ask the bartender if he has seen anyone. That's in the lounge car. Is that in the car you're in? Then I will... Talk to his brother. The waiter. The waiter. So we all do notice check, and if we see anything, or we don't see anything, then we'll make the exchange right there. If we see right. something, we'll say something. Yeah, you guys are alone. In, you guys are pretty much alone in the dining car with Elijah. Okay, okay, so it's not worth making the exchange. No. Okay. All right, then we no, make the exchange. Well, you know, later in the day. All right. Um, and we give we give Wong Fei the brass box. All right. So the, the train pulls into Selena. I'll read you this. Uh, anyone want to give me a common knowledge check on uh, Selena? Hmm. So just give me a uh, smart check. That's right up my own. Hmm. Or if you have history. Any of us? Yes. Now, now he's looking now for he's history. Now he's looking for history. <laughs> <laughs> I got a four. Six months of a zombie game, we never have a history check. Mm. Explode. Yeah, two fours. Explode. Oh, look at you, man. Dawson knows that it's in Kansas. <laughs> That's good for him. <laughs> 22. Whoa, 22. I can tell you the past 10 mayors in the town. Do you want to read the, 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 the three sentences I'm going to read? <laughs> All right, so Warren relates the uh, history of Selena a little bit. It was originally a staging point for prospectors traveling to Pikes Peak, as well as a trading post where local Indian tribes and troops from Fort Leavenworth could barter goods. Then the Union Blue Line was extended to Selena and the town prospered. Mm. In the last 10 years, wheat became the dominant crop of a burgeoning economy, <coughs> leading to the construction of a steam powered flour mill, as well as refrigerator freight cars for <coughs> exporting beef. Are you okay? That was the quietest season I've ever heard from you. I was trying for Amy's benefit not to grow up. Yeah, but I'm not asleep. So. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's not asleep four rooms away. <laughs> I, was editing the video for, I was editing the video for the last session, and. Uh, Andrea, she's upstairs on the third floor, and I'm just playing him through the laptop speakers on half volume, and Adam sneezes on the video, and she calls from downstairs, what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> so I edited it out for the purposes of the yeah. okay, I think the internet needs to know how my sneezes, I hope my sneezes really can be. I don't think they need the internet to protect <laughs> 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 That's what it was? Our subscribers in Germany, now they know what those... Uh, 
where earthquakes are every uh, Monday morning at whatever time it is in Germany. Right yeah, now. the very sneezy guy. <laughs> He's very right. loud, yeah. Uh, local so. businesses include the typical general stores, saloons, barbershop, and a newspaper, the Salina Journal. <gasps> How long does the train stop here? For a day. For a day. Oh. Still daylight right it's now? It's an overnight layover. The train is pulling in later in the day. Uh, as soon as the train comes to a stop, you guys are finishing your conversation with uh, Elijah. Um, listen, the, the, the female Union Blue um, person who is so sweet to Trey um, comes in. She completely ignores Elijah, talks to you guys. Listen, says the female Union Blue technician. My name is Courtney Moore. I need to speak to all of you right now so we can bury the hatchet before things get out of hand. And there are some other things you need, you should know about. Uh, we're getting off the train, not on the we're, train. Oh, never mind. We're all... She, she takes a bottle of whiskey out, she puts it down, she goes over and gets a bunch of glasses from the waiter, uh, and then she takes a shot. <laughs> we are on the train right now, sir? You're still on the train in the dining car. Got Eli the Elijah's train there, the yeah. train is stopped. Oh, she gave her these stuff just as you got. And who else is there? Just you guys, Elijah and her. Trey, remember, passionate kiss like spider's web soon lead to undoing a fly. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Do they have flies? I don't know. So oh, give yeah. me uh, everybody, anybody, anybody, I'm sorry, anybody taking a shot of the whiskey? It's just regular whiskey. I'll drink some. I'll, I'll drink some whiskey. Sure. Robert's become a little bit more wild in his uh, awesome. later years. Frontier years. Oh, to take a shot, sure. Arizona, shot. Arizona has been like burned by the last whiskey. He could still taste it in his pores. He's gonna pass. You know, correct him. Correct him. Damn near kill him. What about his record? This is regular whiskey, right? This isn't like those dry whiskey. Yes, yeah, so it's regular whiskey. It's it's not glowing. It's rock rock whiskey. whiskey. His flask. Uh, so. You're drinking from your flask, but not from the whiskey on the table. The whiskey flask. <laughs> Somebody speak about. Him. <laughs> I'll give this to you straight. I don't have a problem with any of you. Not yet. Wait, I Wong, don't want to. One favor, give it to you. Gay. So let me tell you something. <laughs> she flashes an agency badge long enough for you to tell us the genuine article. The agency would be the Southern CIA. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm. Okay. Another straighter. She pours a shot and downs it. I turn to Marshall and I say, now that's a real bad Marshall. Oh, it's <laughs> a rebel badge. There's no such thing as real rebel rebel. rebel badge. You know what? She's a rebel, and she'll never be any good. That's rebel, right. Rebel rebel. Don't say that five times. Right, so. right then in your paper. <laughs> she pours another shot and downs it. Okay, I just I, all the witty banter. I have missed the main point of what she said. <laughs> <laughs> she's a, she's from the agency. Oh, she's from the agency. I'll yeah. give this to you straight. I don't have a problem with any of you, not yet, and I don't want to. She flashes her badge long enough for you to tell us the genuine article. Yeah. She pours another shot and downs it. This is between me and Elijah. We've got history you don't know about. None of your business, frankly. Oh. Courtney looks around to make sure the dining room is empty. There's trouble brewing on this train. Sir Cannon and Ms. Galloway are fighting like Kilkenny cats. Have you seen the way Professor Dial glares at Pat Riddle when he thinks no one's looking? Wait, is, what color is her hair? She's a brunette. Oh, okay. I don't know. Kilkenny? I've seen those looks. They don't look like they like each other. It's the look of a man with murder in his heart. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that's very dramatic. But, uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say murder. Maybe they just don't like each other. Well, I, I also fail to see how this is exactly our problem. Everybody, everybody missed Streetwise Jack. <laughs> as long as nobody's looking to kill Elijah here, I think we're D4. fine. A D4 and then minus two on both rolls if you're untrained. Is anybody trained in Streetwise, by the way? I am. I am. Oh, well done, yeah, exploded. Oh, and you exploded. Fantastic. Five, five. Oh, well done, sir. That's not bad for untrained. Five untrained. Eight. Oh. Eight. Hang on. I got more. You got more. Oh, my gosh. Nine. <laughs> Whoa. Well, the two, the, you two guys who made it with the raise, it seems like she's taking longer to talk than she needs to. Like she's trying to keep you guys... Occupied. I think she's My point is this: your time is best spent looking out for yourselves rather than worrying about Elijah. So what do you say? You going to pull in your horns, or is this going to be turned into a heap of difficulty for everyone involved? 
Well, we, we kind of have a financial obligation to look after Elijah's the well-being right of Elijah. Right? Elijah's right there. She's completely ignoring him. Elijah. And he looks like he wants to crawl under the, under, the, under, the, under the table. So you're telling us that we shouldn't look out for Elijah when you're from the agency, he's a colored fella, and you have a history. I don't think you're going to be taken back to any kind of plantation. I don't, I'm not interested in that. No. Is there you anybody keep, else getting on the You on keep the train? away from Elijah. Nobody's getting on the train. Nobody's getting off the train. But just so you guys know. Well, some people are getting off the train. And, yeah, I know. But you, right. never, you never know what may really be happening in some remote corners of the South. All right. Okay. Because the way the rules are written, the South, the South have emancipated everyone. Everyone has equal rights. Yeah. So you're the South, there, is, there is no slavery anymore in the South. Yeah. So it's better than they... Yeah. The good guys all are in favor of equal rights, and you can tell a bad guy because they are not. And that's like... Everyone's equal. Which, 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 which really, about ninety eight percent of the southern population back then. <laughs> which, which really, from, from the perspective of the setting, doesn't work for me. Because that makes the whole point of the Civil War. Yeah, but it's it's uh, it allows you to role play prejudice and yeah. be a jerk, and that's not fun. Yeah. So I understand. Oh, I understand. The, I understand why it's, it doesn't make that much sense to me. So, so once once again, born like and trade because they're, that they're she's officially emancipated doesn't mean I trust. Them. Uh, does anybody think somebody's stalling? Would like to let us all in on it. Well, the train's I not say, stalled. We just I say Warren. Just scheduled stop. Who's Mikey? What's his name? Dawson. Dawson. Dawson, go out and take a look outside the train. Go look at the, uh, make sure everything's all up and up on the, uh, on this the isn't train. Yeah, you're talking down. Down. Uh. Alright, so, so Dawson says, you know what, you guys can handle this. I turn to Arizona and said, Arizona, wherever you decide, if you think it's the right thing I'm in, I'll be outside keeping an eye on the freight cars. I think are, are you going out to the platform, or are you going through the cars to get to the freight cars? I'm, I'm just out on the platform. Hey, Dawson, wait, by to, himself? I have to go out on the platform, right? No, you can go through the cars to get to the freight car. But they're locked up. Well, you get, you get to the you outside. <laughs> Dawson, I'll take that walk with you. Maybe we should just go through to the straight through to the freight car. Okay. All right, sounds like a plan. I'll leave you to your discussion. All right, so, um, so what do you guys say? I think that you should. I don't, Elijah, what do you think? I, I, I don't want to talk about this. So you'd rather her leave you alone? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, absolutely. All right, I think you should leave this. Okay, we'll, we'll, boys, I'm not this. I'm not gonna be. Uh, this could get ugly later. I'm not going to be held responsible for that. What do you mean? I'm just saying, Elijah's not the man you think he is. And do you think anybody else on this I, train I is? I think Elijah's the man who hired us to protect his well-being. Mm -hmm. And you seem to be trying to encroach on that, miss. Uh -huh. Well, apparently I'm not getting anywhere here. So, I'm done with you boys. I tried to bring you to the sensible side. And she leaves. What does she want yeah, with an to accent do? like she that? I don't know. I don't understand what she wants to actually do. I, I, I've read it three times. I don't understand. She wants you to, uh, to leave Elijah as a, to stop yeah. working. Oh, and, and by the way, there may be another murder going on from amongst two other people that we don't care about. We haven't been paid to care about. <laughs> Arizona and Dawson get back Actual. there. The freight door is open. The other two guys in blue are in there. They've smashed one of Elijah's boxes already. <gasps> Arizona immediately shouts for help. Won't they hear three voices? I was just thinking, can we hear them? Dawson draws both his pistol. All right, these guys. Uh, I can't wait to get this. I'm not kicking. Except for the fact you were like 500 feet away and you haven't heard anything yet. <laughs> He's got great perception. I'll let you make a perception check in a minute. I get a nat fucking notified. <laughs> With your untrained yeah. perception, your perception of floor. All right, um, any cards? Shuffle those. Nice. <laughs> Mike, by the way, I told you you have three white bennies. Yeah. All right. I don't believe these. My edges are. What was that? <laughs> the possibility yeah. exists that you're actually going to have a fight. It's a traitor. All right. So the, uh... What do you command a natural leader to? Jeff, do you allow uh, four cards? One for Bob, one for Mike, and then, two and then one for Bugs, yeah. Bob, three. Three of diamonds. Mike.
<laughs> we Didn't we fire you once? <laughs> And the bad guy's got a eight of hearts and a four of diamonds, and yet uh, Arizona got a three of diamonds, and Dawson got a uh, two of clubs. You're fired again. So the bad guys get to go first. Even though they rolled low, the, the good guys rolled lower. Two All right. Of clubs. The, uh, Excellent job, Jeff. The, 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 <laughs> the bad guys don't seem the like they want to kill anybody because they, they rush forward and engage in a... It's the cuffs. Oh, so they are bad guys. Mm. Well, the guy's breaking the bad, the, the stuff. So the first one runs up, one, one runs up and engages um, Dawson. One runs up and starts trying to punch the crap out of Arizona. Hey now, gentlemen, we just want to talk. I mean, you don't have to attack us, really. Now we are just going for a walk. So the first guy. Uh, oh boy. Uh, sword skills. He has fighting D8. Oh nice. Oh boy. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. <laughs> So he swings at Arizona. Do you have a weapon to parry with? I have a cane. Oh, that's right. But reduce. And the, it's uh, rapier gives a plus one to parry. You take the rapier out? No, I have to draw it. <laughs> um, uh, parry is four. Parry is currently four. Okay. All right, so my fighting roll has to exceed your parry. Four high Yes. Yeah. Is it exceed or be equal to? I think so. equal to counts as a hit. I think equal to is a shake. Is it a hit? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You rolled a four, didn't you? I rolled a one. Oh, <laughs> I rerolled. Oh, you got the bennies. He he comes he comes up. He swings in there in Arizona. Arizona ducks to the side. The guy smashes his hand into the wall. Mm. You hear the cracking of bone. You're not going to use a benny to reroll. He's going to certainly breaks his hand. Oh, I'll, okay, I'll, fine. I'll use a benny. I, I mean, I don't mind a hand. Breaking. No, I forgot I have. Hey, yeah. Bob, shut up. <laughs> He, uh, crushes he, my skull. <laughs> you <Yeah>. die. <laughs> Give me an agility check. But I'm, I'm not in this combat, so I can't help him. Uh, explosion on the 8. All right, you don't, you don't have to roll it again. Right. He was trying to knock the cane out of your hand. You managed to hold on to it, but he's he's in your face. Okay. Uh, Dawson, the other guy comes up. I'm the five. Okay, he, 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 he hits you with the 7. What's your parry, Dawson? Five. So it's a hit without a raise. Correct. So he has a brass knuckle, so it's strength plus D4. Oh. He has a strength of a D8. Wow, he's very strong. Uh-oh, Josh has exploded. Oh, six. I roll a one, a four, and a one. <laughs> There's no iPhone charger over here, is there? Uh, on, the, on the wall. Okay. So six, I believe that would just leave you shaken. What's your toughness, Dawson? Uh, after my toughness is a six. Shaken. So you're shaken. I think, right? I think, yeah. 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 So now you could choose to use a Benny right now, Dawson, and try to lose the shaken, or wait until your turn, and then you could roll your your spirit or vigor, whichever is higher. Yeah. Is that the rule? Yeah, I don't have sheets from the maps. Uh, what are we at? What are we asking about? Losing shaken. Spirit check of being around. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you can use a Benny now to try to... Oh, there's no damage to soak. So when your turn comes up, you can either roll Spirit and hit a 4. If you do, then you get rid of the Shaken, but you can't move. If you get an 8, then you get rid of the Shaken and you can move. Or just spend a Benny at that point and you can get your full turn back. I think you can spend a Benny at any point to get rid of Shaken, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think yeah. so. But there's no point right now. Yeah. So now it goes to Arizona, I assume. So, um... Yes, it is Arizona's turn. Uh, Arizona will hold and let Dawson go first. Dawson. Dawson pulls his pistol. In that smoke wagon. Well, you're you're, you're shaking, so you gotta make it roll and shake it. Yeah, so make your spirit roll. Dawson spends a Benny and then pulls his pistol. Why don't you try and do it without spending a Benny first? Yeah, try the roll. If you fail the roll, you can still spend All right. the. All right. What's the roll, Adam? Yeah, spirit, spirit roll. Spirit or vigor. Or is it spirit? Oh, it's spirit. It's just it's spirit. spirit. Okay, spirit. But you got to get an eight or better to um, get an action. Oh, yeah. oh, I exploded on one. Hold on. What do I need? An eight? An uh, eight would be very, very good. Twenty. Aha! <laughs> exactly eight. Six to the two. Wow. Well done, sir. Save yourself a Benny. All right. Save yourself a Benny. Okay. Now it's your move. I draw both my pistols. All right. From the holster. Okay. I think that's enough swing and fist, boys. All right. Do they back up? I tell them, I tell them to back up. 
they uh, they aren't that bright. They're not. I don't, I don't think they're going to back up quite yet. <laughs> the power can stop. Okay, I'm going to fire. Power okay. Well, let's. If you drew. Will yeah. you have quick draw? Yeah. Okay. That's very helpful. <laughs> All right. So you draw. You use your free action to tell them to shut up, to step back, to, to stand down. They don't. Are you shooting one of them or both of them? Uh, I'm actually going to attempt to shoot both of them. It's a minus two. Both the target. No, uh, uh, he's going to do two actions. One. Well, well, no, uh, is, is shooting two pistols one action? I think, it's, I think it's two pistols one action, but I don't have the papers with me. It's two different actions. I think it's two actions because you have to take ta you have to take edges to negate the negatives to that. Just shoot one guy. It's a minus two for the offhand and an additional minus two to each for multi action. Unless he's got two fisted or yeah. ambidextrous. Yeah. Do you have either of those edges? No. Okay. No, I don't have those edges. Right. So, so shoot the guy in front of you. With your left hand, it would be a minus four, and with your right hand, it would be a minus two. So yeah. you may just want to shoot if you if you double tap with the one pistol, it's your die roll plus one. So you get plus one to hit and plus one to damage. No, when he shoots a pistol in melee, is that shooting? Parry. It goes, it's shooting it's against shooting, parry. shooting, but the target number is breaking. Parry, not. Okay. okay. What did you get for your shooting roll? Seven. Seven. Okay, he has a parry of six. Oh, so it's a hit. It's a hit. It has a hit. Damage is 2d6, probably. 2d6 plus... Plus one. Two. Oh. What's the plus two from? Uh, I have a plus one on my Colt. So you say plus one normal damage. And a double tap. Plus one for the. Double tap. Okay, good. Makes so sense. That's, uh, that's a six. You explode under damage side too? Yep. yep. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we don't fight a lot. That's true. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty, Twenty-five. <laughs> okay, he has a toughness of seven. So that brings it down to eighteen. Four shakes him. I was gonna say, what's eighteen minus four? Actually, just the hit shakes. Four hits. That's four hits. That's four wounds. Four wounds on top of the shaking, isn't it? Yeah. So, but what he can four? he can sh roll a soak. Well, eighteen. No, it's it's three wounds. The first four is the shaking. Yep. The next four is his first wound. That's eight. Five, six, no, seven, the eight. first four is a wound. If he if he hits the, if he meets if, if he gets as much damage as or his toughness, that's when he is shaken. And oh, every four above that is a wound. So he. So then it would be four and not three. Right. Okay. So this guy takes a terrible shot from uh, your Colt. Did you have to stick it in his mouth before you pulled the trigger? <laughs> not that he's incapacitated. Oh. Uh, he's not getting up. Let's leave it that way. At least yeah. so nobody's making a well, let's, say you, let's say you blew half his leg off. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Mike likes that one. That's a, that's a fatal wound. <laughs> you guys all hear the gunshot. Uh, okay. There is uh, Arizona. Else here? The man fought. Let's let, let, let uh, Arizona go. Then you guys let's go. At Fine. this point, Arizona will uh, use his action to draw the rapier from the cane in the most menacing way he can. And you're giving me an intimidation. I'm not trained, but I will try. Well, is that a... Uh, that's an action. That, that's an action with your draw. Okay. So unless you have quick draw, that's a minus two for multi-action. Minus two on an already untrained... You can always treat a staff as the, 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 the walking stick as a staff. It's less intimidating, though. It is not nearly as cool. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna draw the cane. It, uh, it might as well do something. The sword from the cane okay. and hold it forward and say... You better oh. stop what you're doing right now, or my so. friend, he's got five more bullets in that chamber. So, you know, I think you should just give yourself up. All and right, so the guy, guy puts his hands up. Anybody else want to live? And then uh, Arizona will say to Dawson, keep that gun on him, will you, Dawson? I'll, I'll see if we can get him tied up. And he'll, uh, he'll pull off the shirt or the jacket of the first blue man and use that to tie the hands of the guy behind. All right. He doesn't look like he's going to his jacket anytime soon. <laughs> or his belt might be better. There's, there, there, there's, a, there's a piece of rope, hang, uh, a length of rope hanging on the corner. 
Hey, oh, there's yeah. all these shards of glass. Also, are there other oh, um, wait. are there other containers with other inventions? Yes, other other people's stuff is in there. They were targeting Bailey's stuff. One of the boxes is broken. There's shattered glass and liquid everywhere. The other ones yet I haven't gotten to yet. Uh, Arizona tries to open one of the other boxes. Is it open? For Bailey or somebody else's? Somebody else's. I mean, there's, there's crates all over. Pick one. He picks one at random. Okay, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nailed shut crate. But you don't forget, there's been a gunshot. I know, I know. He's just and he's just looking. He's that's how he is. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we wait for the cavalry to arrive. And so. I assume the rest of you show up. With Bailey, right? Every, uh, well, I'm not going to leave him alone with her. No. She, she doesn't come. Bailey yeah, comes. Yeah, if we'd known better. The we conductor comes. Um, so, and, uh, and, the, and the engineer comes, and a couple of the other inventors come. And before you know the places, you know, it's a mob. These were two out of the four... Blue line workers. There were three blue line workers. The girl. Okay. Blue two blue blue blue. Oh, I forgot one last thing. Check pockets real quick before the, the crowd comes. Uh, revolver. A star revolver. Take 44 it. caliber. Two of those. Shot six. Um, and brass knuckles. Taking it off. From each of them. And uh, wallet, purse, coins, money? Nope. Okay. Badge. We had combat reflexes. I probably should have looked at that edge. <laughs> <laughs> what does it do? I don't know. I gotta pick it up. Assuming it's a regular edge. I'm pretty sure it's a regular. Combat reflexes plus two to recover from being shaken. Not gonna help yeah, that guy. Yeah, you never had a chance. Oh yeah, I guess not. <laughs> elbows. Arizona says, "I want those brass knuckles for that other guy." You already got a set from the other one. Arizona gives a quick wink to Dawson, and uh, then then the crowd arrives. So now you got a pair. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping for a slugfest. Yeah, that would have been nice. But Mike wanted to kill somebody. Yeah, you know. We, but they brought a gun. To I was going to say. No, no, they didn't bring a gun to the bat to the fight. You guys brought a gun to the knife. They brought fight. a knife to the gun. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I gave him a chance. No, but I'm saying I wanted a fi- I, I I wanted a slugfest, a fist fight. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, I, need, I need a time to put on my brass knuckles. They weren't on at the time. I've got to go with Dwight on this one. If somebody attacks Dawson, you and you have a, with Dawson on this one, I don't want to be with Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody attacks you and you've got a gun, shoot them. <laughs> hey, did you keep enough not to bring a gun to a fight? He should have known that any fight could turn into a gunfight. Right, this is the weird wild west. All right, so... so uh, or Florida. Aristotle shows up, I think, about that for a second. Nice. He takes matters into his own hands, breaks wow. it up. I don't think that we're going to let uh, Aristotle take this matter into his own hands. Security's he been takes, in his he, hands. He, he takes control of the situation. Security's been in his hands, and look what happened. And look what happened. He was safe until they got here. And where's the security now, uh, Aristotle? Well, or? obviously the door needs to be fixed since they broke it. Your right. guys broke it, right? They're not my guys. They were in your uniforms. They're, they're, just because they wore a union uniform doesn't mean I hired them. Well, I, what I'm more concerned with is how did your men let them into the into the uh, into the storage compartment? Well, I mean, didn't let them in. They broke in. How did they get in up close to the storage part, compartment to be to break in in the first place? Your security is severely lacking, Mr. Aristotle. Aristotle. Lewis. Mr. Lewis. Lewis. Mr. Lewis. <laughs> Lewis Skolnick. Yeah. Listen. That locked door was barricaded well. It kept everybody out until we got here. I don't know what caused these guys to go nuts. Look at them. They're like freaking animals. They are like big, brawny, massive guys. Were they going to the surf? Oh, we don't know what would have happened if we failed the ghost rock check, do we? Technically, in, in game, we don't know. You don't know what happened if they had failed to see the streetwise check either. Yeah. Which, by the way, doesn't actually exist as written. I gave that to you. Because oh. you never would have known to go back there. <laughs> I could see it on your face and you were just like, what's she going to say next? Thank you. That Thanks, was very Bob. generous of you, Josh. Thanks, Bob. You would have been bamboozled. Well, that's why that one box did still break, so that we have some activity with the broken boxes. Hmm. All I have to say is that your 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 security seems to be severely lacking, and I don't think that we can trust it any further. We will be taking we will be taking the uh, the security of uh, Mr. What's his Bailey. name? Bailey. 
of uh, Mr. Bailey's cargo into our own hands at this from this point forward. You're welcome to do that, but you will not have access to this car. Well, I don't think that matters too much, because apparently anybody can just walk in here whenever they feel like it. Well, hell, we'll just sit in the middle of the dining car with that box of Mr. Bailey's, and we'll sit there for two days. I will not allow you to do that. Why not? Because it's my train. Well, no, no, apparently it's these guys' train, because they're the ones who walked into your storage compartment. Son, shut your trap or get off my train. Who, this isn't your train. It's you have no train. control over I this train. I am the conductor. It's my train. Well, why don't you... How come you didn't conduct them off the train when they... I have conducted them off the train now. Well, hey, now that we've subdued them, is there any other part of your job you would like us to do for you? Mr. Lewis, is there any yeah, way that we can help you secure... Mr. Lewis, can we help you secure the train in any way? I would be more than happy to take any, any input you have on, on securing the door stronger. Constructive... Well, Mr. Well, I think that two. we should have one. Or, we should have two members of our parties in the secure in the cargo train at all times. Robert, a man with tight trousers is pressing his luck. These two will be left with the sheriff here. Uh, I'd like to be able to question these two men. There might be a greater conspiracy. We don't know who hired them, and they may still be on the train. We think the girls involved as well. Uh, we think they're in cahoots. What girl? I got three union men here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, you are an idiot, aren't you? Well, we're trusting security Son, to you. If, you. if you insult me again, you'll be spending your night here, and you won't be on this train in the morning. Cool your heels, New York. Cool well, he doesn't heels. have any security to throw me off the damn train. What the <laughs> hell is he going to do? You had Wait. a technician. Her name was Courtney Mora. She was a girl. She had long hair. She's keeping it hidden up there. I, I had three guys report to me in the beginning. One of them did look a little soft around the edges. I think that was the one, sir. She said she was an agent. Work for the agency. I, I'd be surprised at that. You got some bigger issues going on here, don't you think? We should question these two, see what's going on. I mean, look what they did on your train. That's a bit of a, of a dishonor against you. I would, I, I would agree. I'm a little disappointed in this. Should we get the local officials here? Arrest, I, please. I'm definitely yeah. turning these two over to the officials. But can we question them first, sir? You're welcome to talk to them. They don't look too smart. All right. I think we can do that. Yeah. And also, we would very much know, now that Mr. Bailey's equipment has been destroyed by 50%, he uh, is 30%, more... 30%, yeah, three oh, boxes. So oh. one of his boxes has been destroyed. He's at greater risk than the rest of the people and participating in the symposium. I think it stands to reason that we should try to give him an element of more security if we could. I hope you would agree. He's only got two boxes to get destroyed. The others have plenty more. Well, some of them brought one box, some of them brought no box, you know, one box, two boxes. So at boxes. random, we should smash two boxes. I think that's <laughs> a fun <common> idea. <laughs> Honestly, of the I would expect your Mr. Bailey is less of a threat now since he has lost some of what he was bringing. I'm sorry, what was his threat in the first place? I have no idea, but whatever. <laughs> his, his chances of winning the symposium are reduced. So right, you, and I believe that pink makes him more of a target to the other contestants. I would think that makes him less of a target. So do you think Mr. Bailey could just keep one of his boxes with him at all times, just to keep an eye on it? They're, they're crates. I mean, they're... We'll just leave it... We'll he's, just, got a, he's, got a, he's got a berth. Yeah, we'll just put it in his berth. You're welcome to put it in his passenger compartment. That's up to you and he. All right. Thank you, sir. He won't be able to move it there, but you're welcome to do that. If you can even get it through the door. Our, our stuff we, keep an eye on. we just keep an eye on one. If we can keep an eye on one and make that to the... He, 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 Bailey comes in and he's... he's we, we obviously know that the most secure he, car on the train isn't secure, so there's no point in leaving anything here. Actually, the most secure car is the second freight car. Yeah, that's true. Well, <laughs> nobody got into that one. Yeah. Bailey comes in, he's... Oh, go ahead, Mike. Was that... Dawson just kind of saunters over to New York and says, Can we tell you a story about my brother? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had a similar kind of temper to yours. Yeah, we put him in the ground a couple of weeks back. Your brother sounded like he died a fine man. <laughs> it was about three days ago. He said he the was wrong like thing to the wrong I guess it was a week ago. I'm going to assume New York that we're going to be digging a hole for you at some point. Pretty similar in size, my brother. Well, I, I don't think that if it's right that we trust the security to a team that shows us that they don't have any security. The exact same size. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, just out of character, I think it's really funny that we find ourselves in this similar argument. Remember when uh, in the zombie campaign we're on the cruise ship and security is completely ineffective as the zombie breakout is beginning 
and we're arguing how bad they are, and they get all in our faces. It, it's like it's like reliving history all over again, isn't it? It's how they're all written. Yeah, well, it's understandable. It gets under your, your skin a little bit. Joel, this roll a history check. <laughs> <laughs> check our group's history to see how it's went before. <laughs> it's effective, I think. So. Uh, so they sent they, they sent for the, the kind of deja vu. they sent for the, for the local doc to try to patch the guy's leg up before he bleeds out entirely. Deja vu before the point. Since uh, Dawson blew half his leg open. Mm. Did you hit the major artery? Major vein. Yes, you did. Uh, I, 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 with that shot, I'm guessing I probably did. Yeah, you did. Twenty six <laughs> points. Yeah. Keep pressure on it. All right, more pressure. <laughs> so we will attempt to question these guys to find out who hired them. Uh, do we glean anything from interrogating them, especially the one who's wounded? Do they still have thumbs? I, I have nothing I can tell you until you ask me questions. Oh, oh, we got to act this one out. If, if you want me to give you information, you have to ask me what information you want. All right. Okay, it, so it, I'm going to assume we took a belt and put it around this guy's leg to stop the bleeding. Yeah, they, they sent for the doc, so he'll be there to try to patch him up, but yeah. Oh, so he's got an open wound. We can... I, I lean down over the guy I lean down over the guy that I shot, and I tell him, you've got five seconds to tell me who hired you and sent you here. Otherwise, I open this belt up, and you bleed to death right here on the train. Does that require intimidation roll? That would require intimidation roll. Oh, my God. Of course, this hindrance of oil is really a problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, these guys weren't mooks, right? Were that? These guys were not mooks. Uh, they're not wild cards. They didn't get the D6 wild die. Oh. But they, they do have actual hindrances and edges. And edges. So do I, do I don't get my wild die or not? You do. You do. Oh, I exploded on my D4, and I rolled a 1 on my D6. And a total of 7, minus 2 is 5. All right. Since he has a loyal hindrance, I'm going to say you would have needed to intimidate with a raise to get past that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it, it's obvious he's scared for his life, but he's not willing to give up what he, what he knows yet. Okay, I undo the belt. And he starts bleeding. And okay. And the... Uh, <laughs> Dawson, don't do that. You realize he might bleed out and he might die. He might never see his loved ones, his mother, his children. And yeah, you know, somebody's guilty of murder, too. That would be terrible. Yeah, you don't want to let this poor man die. No, somebody's guilty of murder. He actually took the belt off. Well, I don't know what you're talking he can, about. He can put it back on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm rolling how many rounds the guy has. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mister, I cannot condone what my friend is doing. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. You should let him... Let him know what, what what he wants to know. The uh, Aristotle pushes you aside and tightens the belt back up. I will not have murder happening on my train. Well, see, uh, you let him bleed out, that's murder. I was just using a little persuasive there, Aristotle. I, Apparently uh, you don't know what that tactic is. I, it, I, it, damn, that belt slipped off, so must have not, got, not, must have not gotten put on right. You know what, all that blood in there must have just been a little slippery. <laughs> it gets on the fingers when you're trying to work the belt. Yeah, why do they have all that blood anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Too much. They look to the second fella and say, Boy, your friend was awfully unlucky. It's a good thing that you're a lot luckier. You got anything that you could tell us about who hired you? The, these form uh, silent treatment. Dawson, I guess you'll have to have a few words with this guy, too. Um, Josh, I slip on my brass knuckles. All right. He, he is tied up, right? Adam's raising his hand. Dwight's untrained in intimidate. Is there anybody here who's Dawson? <laughs> Dawson. Damn, I'm gonna be doing that forever. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't plan on intimidating him at this point, there, Robert. I plan on whacking him with my brass knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as long as Arizona's not doing the bad deed, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll watch the <laughs> show. Yeah. He's not that evil that he would do that. Don't put a set of brass knuckles on each hand. And Aristotle says, if you beat that man, you're not getting back on the train. <laughs> Aristotle, these are the men who are supposed to keep us from, from causing trouble what on the train. What do you mean by beat that man? Like beat him half to death or beat him to death or just beat him? 
You punch see. that man once, you're not getting out of the train. Ooh, punch him twice. So I can punch twice, then. Keep it up, wise ass. Yeah, he's a loophole. Do you work for the agency? <laughs> Is Courtney one of your partners? I'm, I'm beginning to question who Aristotle works for. Why were you breaking into the boxes? We Aristotle was trying to keep peace on the train. He doesn't want to be killed on the train. Find another way to dodge, does he? Why should we have to fill up with this guy's mouth? Because we're getting the train paid to stay with the train and and uh, and our guy in his. What was that, buddy? It's not worth it. What, what if I just push him off the side of your train and then beat him up? He's not on your train anymore. <laughs> Son, the sheriff's on his way. You do what you gotta do. I hope they throw you in prison. Sheriff Harry a patient man. It's a tough war it's a tough town. He ain't likely to put up with a beating or a killing. How do they get into your I ain't yeah. never seen I've never seen a sheriff who hasn't had to lay down a beating or two himself. Broke into our train and broke one of our pieces of equipment. And they're going to go to jail for that when the sheriff gets here. Can we check their pockets? Right. How do they even they get past the locked the door? Actually, the door is beat. It looks like they had to take an axe to get through the door. All right. Did they, is so there an axe? Nobody heard that. Then. So where were the guards? And how come we didn't hear somebody beating on the door with an axe? Is we were there far, an axe we were far away. Yeah, we were you, 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 were, you were like four cars away. We scour the room. Nobody here. on the platform heard this. There were no guards here who heard this. Aristotle's got a real security problem right here. Are we all and he wants us to trust him. Is and he's trying to threaten us. Them. You're all there. Oh, for two. I, I'm going over with Dawson. You know, I'm, stand, I'm standing by the Indian. The, uh, there's, there's an, uh, you, when, you, when you look out, it looks like there was an axe that was dropped between the cars. Okay. So you, you would never have seen it if you hadn't gone looking for it. You see. All right. We should get that. That is evidence for the sheriff, I think. Or I'm gonna you know, tell the um, train conductor, you know, this is our justice here. You're not, you're not the only law. This, well, this yeah, is you, what's fair. You, you tell him, sheriff. Kill ain't fair. Especially when is tied up. Where are you from? This where are you from? Marshall, Marshall, where it works out. Marshall, here. this isn't the way it works out here. I've been the, I've, I've been out west. I've been east. out west since you were a little baby. Don't tell me how it works out here. He's a veteran soldier. <laughs> I'm a veteran soldier. You tell him. Taught all veteran soldiers. I like Marshall. I, I'm not a veteran soldier. <laughs> Marshall trained all the veteran soldiers. <laughs> he taught all the veteran soldiers everything they know about soldiering. I'm telling you, you may want to live in the Wild West. I don't. I live where it's civilized. These men will go to trial and they'll pay for their crimes. So civilized that you let two men beat down a door with an axe You're, and nobody notices. You're so naive. Your throat's going to be cut before the night's over and you keep acting like that. Son, if I get another word out of you, you ain't getting on this train again. I don't keep, understand how you can prevent me from getting on the train. New York, you need to, we want to keep you going on to Kansas City, my friend. Calm, calm. At this point, I'll buy the home and ride it. Listen, you got a two and a seven right now, and I think he's holding a flush. We need a stronger <laughs> hand before we go up against him. I'm glad you taught me about how poker works, because I know what you're talking about. That's right. You learn quick. <laughs> learn quick on this one, too. Ar Arizona, just bend over for a second. <laughs> I, I want to see that big yellow streak down your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yelling, Marshall. I'm just trying to play the odds that, right. That could have gone two ways. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I had it with that way. <laughs> There's a little girly school back in Massachusetts waiting for you. Maybe I'll hop the next train going on that way. Well, I do like trains full of women, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, I think the booze is better on this train. Let's let me take him for one hour and talk with him. The uh, he will spill all the beans. You're right. I don't think anybody wants to talk to you for an hour. They'd be so confused at the end of that. <laughs> But they don't know what you say. There's that's three of them. <laughs> the the sheriff going? shows up with a, a wagon, a couple deputies, the doctor. Dr. Victor? You got it. <laughs> I thought it was Dr. Quinn. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Baker from Little House of the Prairie. Do you know how many years it's been since I've seen how old I was when I lost Little House on the Prairie? <laughs> Adam, it's not Dr. Quinn, medicine virgin. Dr. <laughs> 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 Oh, hello. <laughs> anyway. Uh, well, we let them take him under custody, I assume. All right. Well, hold on now, Sheriff. We haven't we haven't gotten the answers that we need yet. This man came in here destroying equipment that we were sworn to, that we were sworn to protect, and we still haven't figured out who hired him and why they're trying to trying to uh to do it. We need our answers. 
Somebody get those in. <laughs> sure, if you have any ways that you can help us persuade these I got some truth talking. here back at the office. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go on and get it. Why, why don't we put these guys behind the bars for the night, see if a little quiet time there will loosen their tongues. I lean over to the gentleman uh, who's tied and look up at the sheriff. What did you say about his wife? <laughs> that is very insulting. Fish? Oh. <laughs> I hope you have some uh, good bunk mates for these guys. Sheriff, sure, just so you understand what happened here, uh, these two individuals came in, they destroyed the property of one Mr. Bailey, we came upon them, Mr. Dawson and I, and we were physically assaulted. I'll tell you, we were surprised and only got out by the skin of our very teeth, surviving the horrible, horrendous attack on our lives. He sounds like Arlo Guthrie. I'm just waiting for something about Al. Well, I'm going to read that some names in my teeth. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We believe that these two men are wanted and that there may be a reward for their capture. There is also a third party who is a woman. Her name is Courtney Malo. She claims she works for the agency. She may be involved, and she is still at large. Our client is still in danger, and uh, we don't know if there is a greater conspiracy. Some of the people gathered in this room may very well have hired these two men. All right. At that point, the uh, engineer shows up with Courtney, the girl, in her blue uniform. Okay. Is she and, uh, under? Is she like tied? No, he's got her. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Lewis, is this woman under your employ? She was one of the. She's wearing the uniform. She was one of the three that was assigned to this train. So if I get a uniform, I can do whatever I want on your train. If you're assigned to this train, you got papers. So you work for the train train company, yeah. So you have worked with this woman before? I have not worked with any of these people before. So you're saying so you're saying that the company assumes responsibility for what happened here, because they put this woman and her agents on this train. I'm saying these three people showed up. They had papers that said they were they would work on this train. I let him on the train because that's what I'm supposed to do. And they cause damage to my, my client's property. She, walk, she, she walks lives. up and starts screaming at the two guys. We listen to what she says. What is she saying? She, she's going off on them about, you know, we weren't here for this. Everybody give me a comment now, Chef, please. <laughs> do you understand English? No, I need to know. I need to make What's it. Make it much. Much. You just use parts. Smarts. No, I oh, do Five. Four. Four. Well, Dawson's always been excited. He's always wanted to join the agency. Oh. Uh, and he has. One of the agency's core goals is to destroy or contain the supernatural, oh. which they consider most many many of these devices that use ghost rock supernatural. Ooh. Are these I'm these there. are scientific devices though? Some, some people consider Ghost Rock supernatural. Ah, interesting. Okay. So, so she starts laying into them about that wasn't their job here and that they acted without her consent. She was, she was in charge. She was their... Um, their handler? Sure. <laughs> so and that they, they acted without orders. They weren't supposed to do that. They were supposed to make sure things got there safely so the agency could get a, a first-hand account of what They've been brought there. There you have it—a confession from the woman's own lips. The woman did nothing wrong. But these two. These two did. It's not false pretense. How she got onto the uh, train? Has she done anything wrong? <laughs> yes, she was yeah, in charge of these two she, she fixed the train with you. She, if anything, she <laughs> falsified government documents. Well, she, you don't know if she falsified documents or she was given the documents by somebody else. And, and she was in charge mean. of these two men. Who, who destroyed this equipment. She is just as culpable as they are. Dead. They report to her. They are in, under her command. While they were doing this, she kept us in the uh, other, other uh, train car. Oh, that's right. She was trying to tell us She's some a, sort of story. Implicit. Are implicit. you saying that she was, like, stalling us or something? I think so. You, now you're just making it. She's like, you're just making stuff up. Yeah, Mr. Lewis so, is so, awfully so patient with you? this person, but he sure is tough on us. This woman's just creating well, havoc all the, over this the, train. At the end of the day, she's done nothing wrong yet. You guys have shot somebody. We are so defending ourselves. He came at us. I was just defending myself. 
And you're right. Yeah, you know, and then, she, then you took the belt off his leg and tried to let him bleed out, and then you wanted to be I, I have the no other idea guy. what you're talking you about. You know, you are right. I, because I, I don't know what you're talking about. I never took no belt off nobody. I was going to put it on his leg. We were in a dining hall, and she came to us with alcohol and was trying to get us to drink while this crime was being perpetrated. They, 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 they must have seen an opening and tried to do it. I came to warn you about that man, and she I pointed to Bailey. the bartender can confirm that you were with us trying to get us drunk and taking up our time because he was right there in the corner watching the whole thing. You warned us against the man who your men directly uh, per or did this heinous act against? Sheriff, you got a rogue agent on your hands. This woman, she's trying to get our client killed. It's clear that he, he, they were waiting for Mr. Bailey to go in and check on his items, and they were going to jump him and take his very life. I think oh, you were just, you were, she, she's just like, you were just making shit up now. I am not. The evidence is clear. And I, I have six, nothing to do with this. These two idiots acted on their own. I got seven they witnesses. They had explicit orders for me not to, not to damage anything. What was your orders? Then, to, then our, make it clear for all of us. Tell our us orders were to, were to escort this train there, make note of what was on here, and see what the agency felt was and was not against our mandate. And you have proof for those orders, I suppose? I don't care. I, she no, had the agency just, badge. How does, how does the state of Kansas, territory of Kansas, territory of Kansas, how do they feel? Are they, are they under the agency's uh, How do they feel about the agency operating within their borders? The state of Kansas. How does the symposium Since feel about the agency destroying the items of one of its members? Well, they weren't supposed to destroy the items. But yeah. they did. We got ourselves a... I tell my children all the time, I don't care what you wanted to do. All I care about is what happened. I think we need to get on the telegraph, and we need to call people superiors. We need to halt this train. we got to get this whole thing looked into. This is a... We, uh, this uh, uh, we, no, we can't no, halt this train. No, this is all all the inventors like, you can't stop this train. We got to get oh, this. I, I, I think, think you're right, right, Arizona. We have a very serious situation on our hands that needs to be thoroughly investigated. This could take many days. We what might be here getting paid $40 huh? dollars a day for many, many days. You guys are welcome to say... different angle, but okay. <laughs> as many days as... Aristotle's like, you guys are welcome to stay here as many days as you want. We'll leave it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, but the, 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 the evidence is on this train. This train can't go while the investigation's going on. How can you go when the lives of your other members the, are... The justice of our client hangs in the balance. Oh, he, he's still crying. <laughs> Look at... You, you've shattered this poor man's soul. And you're just going to yeah. close the investigation, pretend like it didn't happen, and take off with the evidence. How terrible is that? Did, did, they're the same... Elixirs that... He gave us chow chow. Shut off. And he was giving those. Shut to off. Them. I actually looked like much of the equipment to brew them was, you know, was was destroyed. A lot of glass. That's why. We call forth the bartender and get him to confirm that he witnessed the agent. Uh, Pour you each around. Huh? Pour you each around. She had two. You each had one. Yep. He he confirms that she was talking to us and gave us moments before the gunshot rang out. Right. He confirms that. Good. Sheriff, I think you need to take them all on your charge and find I, out. I can't is. arrest her. She hasn't done anything wrong. Aristotle, you got to get her off this off the train. It's clear that there is a conspiracy here. Listen to me, sir. I've been involved in many conspiracies, and I know one when I see one. This woman was distracting us while her other two accomplices were getting these items destroyed. In the sir, interest sir, of justice, sir, I think it's simply your word against her word at this point. I have no proof either way. I have seven words of seven people who witnessed her try to stall us before gunshots rang out. She bought. She she gave you each a drink. Look, That's we, not stalling, sir. We have captured the maybe bad she, guy. Maybe she was interested pain. in that man over there. Sir, she was, she's been giving him the eyes since she walked in. We have captured this man red-handed. <laughs> Why are you bringing up these irrelevant items? Are you not an employee of the law? Are you not? I am an employee of the law. I've taken these. Two, I've taken these two. Have obviously committed a, a, a problem. But I've obviously committed a crime. Oh man, I feel like once again we're arguing with the security officer of the cruise ship. I know. Like, <laughs> no, please let me be more incompetent. Don't try. Don't. 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 Well, no, really, really, what, 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 no stop. Stop. <laughs> what proof have you given? She went and brought you guys a drink. Mm -hmm. yeah. The guys who work for her, mm -hmm. yes, did something bad. Supposedly yeah, it was just, without her order. Mm -hmm. So where, where does she fall on this? It's your word against her word. If we're talking out of character. Absolutely. Then the proof that yeah, we would have... Me, never mind that, but also... Oh, great. I'm fighting the lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> for for <laughs> justice, they didn't really rely on evidence a whole lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> but we would have uh, absolute confirmed proof. These two have confessed were caught at the scene of the crime breaking in. 
That's they haven't actually haven't said a word. She said that. No, we came in. It's, it's self-evident. Yeah, well, it's evident that they were committed. They were caught yeah. red-handed. Yeah. So we know that those two are guilty. We have evidence confirmed that they work for her. And she confessed that in front of this audience yes. of people. So we know that they were under her charge. And furthermore, we have evidence that she works for the agency. So we know that that even strengthens the argument that they do nothing without her orders. On top of that, we have an argument that she was stalling us at the moment. And we have an independent, objective, third-party observer who can confirm that she came and approached and gave alcohol. A person dressed as a technician whose only job is to make sure that the train is functioning, who is during the key moment of a train running, like turning it down, shutting it off, make sure the ghost box is not working, that she's not following her duties, and she's getting people drunk. So she's getting people drunk, which is completely uh, irrational and unusual for a technician. See, see I, don't, I don't have that view. She simply came to talk to you and warn you about Elijah, and she brought a drink with her. That's her view. So that's a, that, that to me is, well, it, it, it's, it, it, it's, it's your word versus her word. But if no, I just no presented that. all of that to a third party who just found two people, as a precaution, he would take that third person okay. for questioning. Warren wants to step in for a second. Can I talk to you I guys for a second back, here? Back, back, back in the character. Yeah. <laughs> right, excuse us for a moment, uh, Sheriff. Excuse us. What, okay. Aristotle? Are you guys crazy? We're a day away from getting from Dodge City. That's where we want to go. You, if you're going to keep making a big deal. We're going to get held up here. We're going to get caught up in some kind of trial or some sort of inquiry. Exactly. We don't want that. We just who cares about, I don't care about Elijah or any of these other guys. I just want to get to Dodge City, and so do you guys. That's no. why we got on this train in the we first We want to get paid, Marco. The more days we spend here, that's 40 we, hours a day. We, we want to get, get to Dodge City. No. I don't want anything to do with this. If we are held up for four days... You I don't want to be out for four days. You get $160. You got, I want to get to Dodge guys, City. That's everybody on the train right first here, place. They can all hear you. I am telling the truth. <laughs> so you went to another car. That's fine. <laughs> How can you argue with that? $160. Do you want to get to Dodge City or not? After I have $160. You're, gonna, you're never going to leave the city with, without a hole in your head. Why do you say that? Do you know where you are, boy? I'm in Kansas, in the middle of nowhere. Exactly. This isn't any fancy Boston Harvard Law kind of town. Yeah. Those guys probably got brothers or cousins that are just waiting, itching to shoot you in the head because you got information that's going to be harmful to them. You're never going to get out of this town alive. What? Just we, keep your mouth shut and get on the train get to Dodge City, which is where hey, we want to go. In the there's only one of them now. We can keep an eye on her on the train. It doesn't matter anyway. Why do we want her Girl on the train? Girl who sits on judge's lap gets honorable discharge. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe a rat. we make a big fuss, and then all the there's going to be a whole lot of pressure on the, on the on the train company to get the train there on time, and they'll help speed us along and get us what we want. It's we'll, a ploy. We'll be lucky if this conductor doesn't kick us off in the middle. Of this conductor can't kick us off. What is he? Who's going to kick us off with? There's nobody here to help. Him. You know, Marshall is right. This is a place that's full of regulators and banditos. I don't know if I'd want to stay this here. This conductor could have friends all along this train route. All he has to do is stop the train in the next little Buckville city and, so and, let the sheriff and I toss him on and put a hole in your head. What I'm saying is that we need their help getting us answers. Even, so even, let's put some even Dawson's on. engine boys can't help us out in the wilderness. All right. I think we need to call Captain Kangaroo. Who? Oh. <laughs> that's okay. That that's my news. That's I'm going. Point. I'm going to Dodge City. I'm not spending another day in this town. You guys want to go to trial and and make a case for this Elijah guy? You go right ahead. It's not worth it to me. Well, All right. So you guys come back to the car. Yes. You know. All right. Arizona's persuaded. He's well, Eli him. Elijah says, "Listen, I'm not going to press any charges against her." Obviously, it has something to do with her history. Uh, since it's his equipment that was damaged by her people, that kind of settles the, the, sheriff, your, the sheriff down a bit. Um, well, Mr. Lewis, do you agree that the, that the damage to my client's uh, property has occurred under, the, under people who are in the employ of the, the train company? And therefore, the train company over offered order should order restitution for for Mr. What are you, a freaking lawyer? 
That's really good. <laughs> As a lawyer for a neighbor in New York. Education. You're, you're All I'm saying is that it's the train company's fault that this happened. Education. They should pay for it. It's not the train company's fault. You're sure. welcome, you are welcome. You are welcome to sue the individuals of this curve with. These individuals in the blue suits that you said had the papers. Hey, I can't tell you where they have the papers. They may not be in the employee of my company. They sure seem like it to me. You're, you're ready to defend them like they Careful are. New York. Careful, New York. <laughs> I agree with you. He's incredibly incompetent that he isn't even familiar with his own technicians, but just don't insult the man. I agree with you that he's completely incompetent that three people came in and modified his train the night before, but don't insult the man. I agree with you that three people <laughs> under his employ broke in and destroyed the very items that he was trying to guard, but don't insult the man, for God's sake. Apologize for my friends. I hate playing with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to make the thing. We're making it so hard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're stopping. We're stopping. Look, look, let's all get back on the train and follow the tracks. <laughs> okay. Listen, I don't give you a lot anymore. <laughs> all I'm saying is that based on what we've seen so far, as long as that woman is still on the train, then then, uh, then Elijah, Elijah's equipment is still in peril. It's making our job very difficult. Maybe yeah. we should double our price. I mean, well, I'm just thinking, we should take care of this woman ourselves. Tonight. I'm just thinking that you know, if 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 I'm not that kind of guy, that, that we if there's we need some kind of investigation, and we need to keep the evidence here while we do the investigating, as long as this woman is staying on this train. Maybe me, Boston, and China Boy will take a walk tonight while you all can keep. discuss it. You need to keep your friends close and your enemies closer. That almost hey. makes sense, China man. That actually did kind of make sense. Oh, us, shoot. Us Hold on. for more money? How's that going to work? We were hired to protect these things. And now look at them. Yeah, and he is letting go the one woman who is directing so, them to destroy so his what? stuff. He, 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 he takes her to the, to the side of the car. He's not even pressing charges, Trip. And they're talking. There's, there's a, something fishy with a, that. Heated, a heated conversation. And she gets off the train. Just move things along. She's gone. <laughs> Sometimes it's just easier. I'll, I'll figure. I'll, I'll, I'll figure out her part later. <laughs> Save us the trouble having to shoot her tonight. <laughs> I, I do believe the marshal would probably have shot her tonight. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Poor Dawson. There, are you happy, boy? She's gone. Uh, I do believe. No, we want her back <sighs> now. <laughs> I do believe Mr. Lewis is. Uh, Remaining equipment, if it is at all out of any use, Mr. Bailey's, Mr. Bailey's Mr. equipment is uh, is now uh, safer than it would have been. How the hell do we get out of this shithole city? We have to go shopping. I gotta find, try to find and place part pieces for me that's broken. Good job, Mr. Let's Lewis. get a move on. What time is the train? Yeah, you know, like. Do you have any technicians left on the train, sir? At this point. Well, there's, there's the, He's got a whole train full of them. He's got a train full of scientists. <laughs> just don't trust anybody in blue uniform. <laughs> or the scientists themselves who might well, be so magic. He, <laughs> has, he has himself, he has the engineer, he has the boiler man, he has the, the brake man. And, and a whole what bunch of scientists who, who all have vested interest in getting What were the three people's job in the first place? They were just you, general workers. Or the Next time, okay, note to self, it's kind of like, you know, oh, what if he was a doppelganger? Next time we encounter generic people in uniforms, Investigate them thoroughly. Yeah. <laughs> what did you give a dollar? Here? That was great. <laughs> How did you not bust out laughing at us? <laughs> oh, great. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Well, that was exciting. I don't know about you, but I can do some food and a drink. I think we need to get uh, Elijah his equipment replaced as quickly as possible. Well, why do you guys care so much about it? Because it's what down. we're getting paid for. So what? He's going to collect money and not do the job? I am a little We're concerned that he doesn't... Just fine. He's still breathing. That's His true. equipment's still there. It's not all... Except for all the stuff that's smashed and dripping all over the floor. So what? So he kind of needs that. That's what we were getting so paid what? to protect. Was well, he your brother or something? No, he's mm. the man who's paying us. I'm not a no. thief. You know, I mean, my, my, my morals might... You know, it's not quite the same same as New York oh, here. We're I in a damaged resident here, aren't we? You're not, you're not getting any good references anymore. Well, hey, man, this is reputation out here, is it not? What's your reputation like, Sheriff? It's getting darker and darker every time you open your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff, Sheriff just throws his hands up and walks away. 
I just did that. <laughs> <laughs> I just did that too. <laughs> Stupid, ignorant newspaper guy. Yeah. All right, let's go. Who said that? <laughs> Elijah or Elijah? Elijah, Elijah. Come on, we gotta go see what's here in this. What we can find in the city. All right, let's go. Why are we going we, in the city? Don't you want to stay on the well, train and be safe? We need to find replacement pieces. We will keep him safe. It's what we're getting paid for. All right. And, I, I, and we can do a little shopping while we're there. Oh, all right then. Maybe they got a casino in here. Well, finally. Wasn't there a warning? Don't go out after dark. They kill you. Things bad. No, it was no. don't let them eat after midnight. Oh. Don't <laughs> 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 Grab one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the content of how many movie quotes you would fit in tonight. <laughs> Isn't that called life? Yes. <laughs> Should I put a counter in the video? Ding. <laughs> <laughs> <every time>. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> do you watch uh, Tabletop on Beacon Sundry before we, they do that? Oh, exact they? same thing. Oh, yeah. that's funny. A couple of every single quotes. I had a I had a class where every day the instructor would increase his number on the board. It turns out he was putting out peanut M and M's. That was the amount of peanut M and M's and ounces we'd eat over the course of the week. Of the week. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it turned out we each ate like a pound. Holy moly. He That's found out in one class that one woman had a peanut allergy that she'd never known about because by the third day she wasn't feeling so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the sort of thing they don't do at schools anymore. Right? So, so anyway, moving on. So he drags you out out there. He's looking for beakers, vials, burners, whatever he can find. So we're going to a glass box. I found the beaker. And Dawson, don't forget to reload your gun. Already, already done. Took two bullets off your inventory, Mikey? Yes. Because the double tap is two. Arizona uh, shakes Dawson's hand and congratulates him on a job well done. <coughs> and uh, Dawson, you find in your palm, uh, almost like magic, uh, a pair of uh, brass knuckles. <laughs> also, two replacement bullets. You have a big hand. If the, if the Colt is, uh, is the same caliber as the Peacemaker. Yes, I have the same one. Mm. All right, so so yeah, we're running around like crazy. He drags you all over town. Uh, he starts the general store. Uh, we keep a couple people back to guard the gear. Yes, you. It's satisfactorily guarded. You're, you're welcome to waste somebody's sure. No, I'm totally yeah. wasting people because it was satisfactorily guarded when it got broken into. Well, the point is for the game's sake to have the five, the six of you together having fun versus Adam. You sit there and do nothing for the next. I'm okay with that. No, no come on. <laughs> you're not capable of shutting up that long. He's giving it. He's giving us. I did it when we were in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> he's giving us safety. We move on. <laughs> well, but Robert would never the trust sheriff, the sheriff. Robert wouldn't trust the other guys to take care of Elijah. The, while sheriff, the, the sheriff has placed six deputies there. Are they in blue uniforms? No. All right, let's go. And their oh. badges don't even say "Made in China." Are we sure? <laughs> Do they look anything like his badge? Are they in red uniforms? No. <laughs> that would be dangerous, too. That's why is that the agency's called a special agent? Star Trek Federal Government. Oh! They're all red shirts. All right. So he drags you out. You spend the night out on the town. Not in a good way. You're dragged to every store. Um, there is no glass blower in town. You do get to the black. <laughs> you do get to the black and you place one of his burners. He's able to fabricate something overnight. Uh, you're a couple of his chemicals he's able to replace, but really he's shit out of luck. How about the shopping for us? Are, are we still getting paid? <laughs> Keeps his money back. I suspect he should pay us extra. We stopped him from breaking all three of his crates. But you didn't. We were supposed to keep him from breaking. Stop from them any of them getting broken. A hundred percent. Not thirty. Not sixty-six percent. But we caught them. Yeah, yeah, the right now, he's got something. He's got something. He's not telling us about this. I'll buy that. Yeah. Well, I think that yeah. What's her name already told us that. I can, we, his eyes confirmed it. Arizona, you ought to be renegotiating our fee right now. You think I can? Yeah. What's he going to do if we walk away? He's going to lose everything. This sounds like the Charlie Sheen negotiation tactic. You're fired. Screw you, I want more money. <laughs> you, you know, I am friends with a lot of the Teamsters back east, and that's the way they... Yeah, and right business. now they're sorry to the Teamsters are pretty effective, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I've heard about them stories, mainly. Well... The, our rate should be based on the difficulty of the job. It's getting pretty difficult.
And so, the posse escorted Mr. Bailey around town. He searched long into the night for beakers and various equipment, most of which were unavailable. He was able to turn some whiskey bottles into scientific apparatus and purchase some pens from a baker's wife, a few household items here and there that he could put to use. But overall, the search was a bust. The group returned back to the train, late at night, exhausted. They set watch and settled in for what would hopefully be a restful evening. And here's where we'll leave our posse of doubtful moral integrity, resting peacefully on a modified locomotive in the middle of nowhere.